Oh, there it goes. It's live down on my side. Like we live live. Live live. Man. Okay. Well, well hey, that's, that's why we do it, man. Welcome we're everyone, not, man, to the no, live not, show. Not that live. Oh, we are we're live live. Oh, yeah, we are live. Yeah. Live. <laughs> yeah, because you know we did the premiere, man. Maybe throw us up off. <laughs> yeah, man. That's how we do. Look, man, welcome everybody to the show. Thank you so much for joining. We are here. This is Immediate, and you're coming to our segment. I love the 90s, but this is 1991 man and all the stuff that came out in 1991 and we're excited but one thing i'm excited about my man is here yo <laughs> man, came, came to visit yo you know partner in crime tony dons is here so man i got flewed out <laughs> they, they flew me out yo <laughs> from the ditty party <laughs> no i don't know if that's the party you want to be coming from yo so, yeah i got flewed <laughs> out from the, from the ditty that, party that. i escaped uh, Bro, so man, on, let's be going. We got it. Y'all ain't hear that? I'm not, I'm not I heard crazy, it, yo. Bro. The clickly clack. I heard it, yo. I heard it. <laughs> yo, I ain't gonna like say nothing. Sure. Look, look. No, no. I'm doing it because I forgot to hit because so, my computer been fucking up tonight. Mm -hmm. But Ali, you asked me to clickly clack and the clickly clack too, yo. Dude, so I just hit forgot to normally hit the mute button. Yo. <laughs> say what? I look That's normally. Yo, I ain't getting into it tonight, yo. I made a mistake because yeah. I'm, I'm trying to get my computer set up, yo. So shut yeah, up. Let's that. get into it. Nineteen ninety one. Are you guys yeah, man, I, excited about the nineties, y'all? Are you guys excited yeah, about the nineties? I mean, about as excited as uh, Diddy and R. Kelly going to a first <laughs> high school reunion together. <laughs> you know, that's what I tell you. It's like, yo, you can't be hanging out with Diddy no more, man. Diddy like the Diddy with the with backsides and and, and young girls now, man. I don't know. I ain't go to that side of the mansion. Yeah, I don't know. I ain't do that either. I ain't go on that side. <laughs> well, look, man, we kicking this off. Um, you know, thank y'all, man, for joining. You know, I see people up in the chat. You know, Chicago Cubs, Angel, thank you for joining. Uh, uh, Kurt, uh, Kai, um, please, I hope I say that. Crichton 1009, uh, you know, so thank you all for joining and and everybody that's joining right now. We got like 15 to 16 y'all in it, so hit that like button right now as we continue to, to make this something, man. So let's go ahead and get into it. 1991, the year in review. Hot Things came out in 1991. But one of the main things that came out in 1991 was a show that I know, that you guys may know, 90210. So 90210 exploded out in 1991. This show was originally about a family that moved from Minnesota to Beverly Hills that primarily followed the lives of Brandon and Brenda Walsh navigating their way through high school. What do y'all guys thought about this show, man? Do y'all remember watching 90210? Unfortunately, yo. Uh, I, I never got into it, yo. I was forced to watch it because everybody else was watching it. Mm. I, I just never got into it, yo. I, you know, the more and more I started dubbing to 1991, I had some issues with 1991, yo. I'm not saying I knew why this show was popular, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It tackled a lot of issues, but this yeah. definitely was not my cup of tea, yo. But I, I do see why, but I didn't like it, yo. Well, what about you, O? Oh, I watched the fuck out of this shit, yo. I yeah, love Beverly Hills down to one no man. Hey, yo, know, so I was at, I actually went back like later on in life. It used to come on one of those channels on cable. Like they was just playing it all the time later on in life. And I, I just started watching that shit again. I was like, oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah, it's still good. It's still good. Yo, know, mm -hmm. I, I love I, I mean all the I mean, all the, the plots, you know, they was doing it all. You know what I mean? They had sex, drugs, and rock and roll, alcohol, uh yeah. whatever yeah. you want, you know, whatever you can name, they did it. And it, it had the zip code, you know what I mean? That's when everybody's like, yo, 90210. Like, once you heard that, it was on. It's like, oh, okay, you got a little bit of money, son. Yeah. So, shout that's out to what, that, man. That's the way I felt. I watched the show. I watched the show, definitely. I mean, the show was, I mean, I remember it, yo. I mean, I remember that zip code. Didn't know that was Beverly Hills zip code until this show. But uh, it was definitely a good show. And my favorite on the show was the girl with the glasses, actually. She was my favorite. She... She was like the hot girl that she she was she was a hidden gem. Yeah, she had she had the nerdy girl with the glasses. Yeah, Gabrielle. I would have. I would have picked up. I think she was like way older than everybody else too in real life too. Yeah, the nerdy girl with the glasses right there on the left. Was. 
Good. Yeah, she was. She was like in her thirties when. Uh, I mean, well, Luke, her she and was. Her was like old as hell. Yeah. Um, she was yeah. in her thirties, Joe. She was mad old. She was mad old. What, what about you, uh, Tony? Man, did you watch the show? I watched it. Yeah, unfortunately, like Phoenix said, I, I actually watched it because everybody else was watching it, but I uh, <laughs> quickly lost focus. Yo, I did. Did uh, Dylan ever hit Brenda? Like I, I never, <laughs> I never found out. Yo, he was working on that joke. For a long time, yeah, Dylan so got it all. Hit. Dylan read through all of them, yo. Yeah. I, I mean, he was hitting the other ones. I ain't know if he ever got the friend of yo, because she's supposed to be a yeah, version. I thought whatever. they had a whole, they had a whole thing, yo. As a matter of fact, shout out R.I.P. Luke Perry, yo. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, oh wow. So, yo, I mean, yeah, thing Dylan is, um, the same, man. Y'all were talking about the girl with the glass was like 30 years old. Luke Perry was about 30 years old messing with Brenda. She was a teenager, yo. This dude was mad old, yo, trying to mess with her, yo. No, nah, he looked old. Crazy. But somebody said something in the chat, yo. It was hard to relate to because I, I found it like it was kind of I had two different schools of thoughts on it. One was rich people have issues like we do in the mm -hmm. hood. You know what I'm saying? Then the yeah. other one is you got all this money. How come you got all these issues that people do in the hood, yo? You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it, it was just one of those conundrums. We seeing people go through like the sex, drugs, and all that stuff in a rich zip code. You like you realize like that shit happens to them too. Know what I yeah, mean? that was yeah. the only relatable part. But other than that, I didn't like it. I mean, money, money don't change being a teenager. I mean, that's what it, I mean. Whatever, it don't matter where you. Are. I mean, when you're a teenager, you're you looking at it. You don't think you don't be you know you don't be horny and you don't know want to <laughs> buck against your parents. And that's pretty much what the show was. You know what I mean? Yeah, so but when you're looking at it through a teenage lens, you're not thinking about it as like you think about like these rich people got it good and we ain't got it as good as them. Why are they bugging like this? But then you get older, you understand, like, you start seeing the similarities, like, oh, no matter how much money you got, you still gonna have issues. Mom is the dad still gonna do yeah. things, mom will still do yeah. things, drink, pino every day, all drunk, kids gonna be out there fucking everything and all that stuff, yo. So but see, older, the older you got, you start to relate to it. But back then you was like, these kids wild, yo. You make a really good point because there's a lot of people. I, I watched this show, I watched this show. But you know the show that I really related to? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, right, wait. <laughs> That's the show that I related to. This was my show right here. 90210. No, it was Saved by the Bell. Saturday morning, watching that theme song. And my man, uh, the, the gorgeous Kelly Kapowski in the middle. I mean, look, I mean, who, who, who didn't watch this show, man? I mean, this was this was my show. Now, y'all faking. Y'all didn't watch no Saved by the Bell. You know you watch that damn show, yo. Go ahead. Did you watch Saved by the Bell? Nah, <laughs> didn't like this either, yo. I mean, man. I like Mark Voorhees, so you know, I might tune in for a little bit, but then I listened to her talk and I was like, oh, she's just like that. Never mind, but no, nah, didn't watch this either. Oh man, what about you? Oh, you already looking like you didn't watch it. You know, I watched a lot of Saved by the Bell, man. Why are you looking, looking like you ain't watching? Because he dropped off. I had some, it was some comments I wanted to do. You was like, boom, fuck it, Saved by the Bell. <laughs> but it don't matter, yo. Say about the bill. Yeah, I watched Say about the bill. Of course, Screech and Slater and all the rest of them. All the girls was, was popping. Shout out to my girl rocking the Versace and, and what how you later on in life. You know what I mean? Mm. So it is what it is. What about you, Phoenix? I hate to say about the bill, yo. Man, I did too. On, I told you nights when we start going on this nineteen ninety one rabbit hole. I was like, yo, there's a lot of shit I didn't like in nineteen ninety one. Saved by the Bell and 90210, I never got into it. You know what I'm saying? I understood why people got into it. I mean, I've dabbled mm -hmm. in and out of it because peer pressure, like everybody was talking about it. I knew all the yeah. characters. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I got, I got, I didn't like Zach Moore, yo. Everybody loves Zach Moore. I thought he was the whole, he's a horrible that? dude, yo. Come on, yo. He's a horrible friend, yo. He's a horrible friend, yo. Definitely a horrible friend. Really? Yeah. yeah he's the mess reach up, yo. <laughs> That's great to reach up for the L, yo. I ain't, oh, I ain't like man. that. Man, come on, yo. And then Mario Lopez thought he was yeah. a cool, everybody thought he was the coolest dude on earth. I'm like, yo, how was he a bully? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look, I so, I loved it. I loved it. Uh, yeah, there so we go. Same, I mean, I loved yeah. it, man. I loved it. I love Kelly Kapowski, Screech, Slater. Zach, Zach was my man, yo. I mean, so I, I really enjoyed it, man. But what I didn't like is when they went to college. Though that sucked. Those, those, those are really bad. Those are really bad. Yeah, so bad. shout out to uh, Crichton 09 Peach Pit. Yeah, the Peach Pit was the good hangout. 
Uh, you know, yeah. that's where they all used to go get their snacks and shit. Yeah. I think a couple yeah. of them might even work there, yo. I'm not even sure. But but the only thing wrong with say about Bill, like you said, Corey, is like they, they tried to hold on too long when they went to college, yo. So once yeah. they went to college, it was it was yeah, wow. Actually, somebody uh shout out to Mr. Barry B, yo. He even said it. Yep. He was like, it was great before they went to college. Because once they went to college, right. they had about that man, like, Lala Zeto, whatever the fuck his name was. Like, the football dude was like the RA. Actually, it was Golick. It was like Bob Golick. Whatever. Uh, what what like, was, 50 uh, years old. At no, the was, RA, yeah, why, why the hell are you up in there? Like, crazy. It was, it was wild, yo. It was wild. Yeah. Yeah. Bob Golden, Tony Saragusa, yeah, it could have been any of them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It didn't matter. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, yeah. like, I look at it this way, man. <laughs> Walter Oaks or um or Different World, he was older than everybody. You know what I'm saying? So cool. I guess they had ORAs back in the day. Oh, you know. talking about yeah. Sinbad? You talking about Sinbad? Yeah, when he was World, on uh, Different World. Yeah. Yeah, he was older than all the students. But I would say this, though. Yeah. Like, Saved by the Bell is like, they did the same thing with Family Matters, where where Urkel and Eddie went to college and had a roommate together. You know what I'm saying? They're going to hold oh, yeah. on. I don't remember that. I don't remember that <laughs> at all. Yeah, yeah I, I definitely remember them going to college together. They was roommates and everything. Well, yeah. and, and then uh, right. shout out to XX, uh, X, as, I mean, you know, Jose, Jose, <laughs> Bob. He always comes through. We poor people had no pit, peach pit. It was Denny's or the local Burger King. And you know where we're from? Where we're from, we had. Black Mac. Mac. Black, black Mac. Black Mac is a, yeah. it was like a McDonald's where all, all the black people went to for some reason. <laughs> you and then we had there, it. but you should not have been there. Not, yeah, for real, for real. <laughs> <laughs> and we had the uh, H U Burger King. <laughs> like you go to that Burger oh, King, like everybody used to oh, hang yeah. out in the parking lot. Yo, uh, everybody oh, saying, "Oh hell yeah, we were, we thought we was in college." <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we thought we was in college. H U Burger King, yeah. Yeah, you go to the Burger King, just hang out the parking lot, yo. It was crazy times, yo. Crazy times. <laughs> you know that that that's so funny, y'all talking about the Black Mac was places that you wanted to be, but you really shouldn't be. Well, this movie really let us know how it is when you in those hood type places. So we're going to transition to to movies in 1991, and one of the biggest movies in 1991, man. I'm telling y'all, man. Boys in the Hood, yo. Boys in the Hood came out in 1991, directed by John Singleton, starring QB Gooden Jr., Ice Cube with the with Jerry Curl right now, uh, Regina Hall, Nia Long, and Morris Chestnut, yo. So this was definitely a hit movie that came out in 1991, man. So I love Boys in the Hood. This movie kicked off a lot of stars that we see today. Um, I loved it, man. I loved it. Uh, what do you guys thought about Boys in the Hood? Phenom, I'll go to you. Uh, I think it was a cinematic masterpiece, yo. Um, I, when I that was my first time ever really looking at a movie like this and seeing people in the hood have grass and houses and stuff like that. Because when you think of yeah. the hood, you think of my apartment buildings on, especially on the East Coast. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, you don't really get to see hoods like that. But um, I got a different appreciation for it because going out to LA, just driving around, just seeing different hoods in LA. That shit is real, yo. That shit yeah. is real, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I was terrified of LA going up. You know what I'm saying? Watch shit like <laughs> because of this movie? Like, yeah, because you thought everybody was game banging. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Even the ones like, you know, Cuba Jr. was like a square. <laughs> like he was an L7 yeah. Tim Power. And he still was getting ran up on, yo. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So nobody was safe. True that. What, what about you, Tony, man? What's your thoughts on Boys in the Hood? Well, um, I mean, other than the movie Colors, it was the first picture of the music that I listened to because we, you know, we grew up listening to NWA and, and Ice T, and this was, you know, the cinema, uh, how you say, cinegraphic yeah. depiction of it. So now we see what it really looks like with the low riders, with yeah. the with the Jerry curls, with the colors. Yeah, you know, even though they ain't know, we, we you know they didn't say it for sure, but we knew who the Crips was, who the Bloods were. Mm -hmm. um, so it was just my first live action of what it was like in LA yeah. from listening to the music. Now we get, you know, we get the movie version of it. Facts, yeah. man. Facts. What about you, O? Oh no, it was fire, man. Uh definitely uh a nice come of coming of age movie. You know what I mean? Everybody outside, your boy Ricky caught caught it. Ricky, run, Ricky, run. I'm a That's my only problem with this movie. Why Ricky didn't zigzag yeah, when he was about yeah, to get yeah. shot, yo. He ran straight. Yeah. Damn it, Ricky. Yeah. 
shit. You supposed yeah, to go to USC so... or something and play football? You running straight yeah. down? Yeah, he's supposed to. Like, what? He thought he was, he was going to USC with a 720 SAT, yo. Like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about that. <laughs> if that, you know, he, he must have been fast. He thought he could outrun yeah. that bullet, but he lost that. That, that 40 won't that fast. But, uh, but yeah. everything about the uh, Boys in the Hood was, was straight, you know, Doughboy, definitely like Ice Cube. Might have been his first acting role, I do believe. So, uh, yeah, it was. Yeah. It, it yeah. is what it is. So, as my boy Chicago said, Ricky never played dodgeball. <laughs> <This is true. laughs> Chicago Cubs always come through, yo. <laughs> Ricky! Because I'm saying, yo, he ran straight as a bullet down the street. Yo, I would have been like doing one of these. He a football player. He should know how to do this, but he just, yeah, like you're saying, his 40-yard dash wasn't fast enough, yo. Not yeah, even yeah, yeah. Like, and then, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, he always trip off my man in the wheelchair. He had the uh, motherfucking pacifier and shit. Little, little <laughs> yeah, little Chris. Yeah, little why, Chris. The fuck, why the fuck he had a pacifier? Yo? I don't know, yo. <laughs> that shit trended though. It's funny. <laughs> yeah, it did. Everybody had a pacifier after that, yo. <laughs> yo, did y'all know the uh, the dude that killed Ricky really went to jail and shit? And uh, he got killed in jail. Yeah, yeah, I, I yeah from, murder, yeah. from the movie. People yeah. was mad at him from the movie. He was no, a boy nah. too. Oh. No, nah, but he was like, I think he might have been like a real game man or something. Yeah, he, was yeah, a he real became one. like he was he was a rich kid growing right. up, uh, but he ended up getting into the gang life and up going to jail and yeah. got killed wow. in jail for sure. Thank yeah, I watched that. They had like a YouTube documentary on him, man. Like, I, was, I, I watched I think that. I, seen that too. <laughs> yeah. I mean, That's I like how he was poetic justice. <laughs> yeah, it, it might have been like 13 minutes, but you know, YouTube will find them actors that like. Like, yeah. uh, like what happened to such and such and you the whole yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, get it all, but it, yeah. it may be wrong. It's like a Wikipedia page. You don't know if it's real or not, but guess what? Yeah. It, it's on YouTube. It's on the internet. It's on the internet. It's real. You know, uh, I thought there's mama. <laughs> <laughs> One thing about uh, this movie, yo, is the soundtrack. Soundtrack is a fucking fire ass soundtrack. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, Tony, uh, Tony, Straight Tony Up Menace is probably one of my favorite. Which Wait, one? Fuck ass up for the straight up minute. Oh, straight up minute. Straight up minute. Yeah. MCA, yo. MCA. Oh, the good yeah, sound. Right. Most wanted. Con- yeah, I don't know if it was better wanted. than this next soundtrack, though. It was a Which good soundtrack. Don't get me wrong. It was a good soundtrack. So we're going to go from one coast to another coast as far as the, one of the top films of the year, and I'm just going to go ahead and get into it, man. New Jack City, New Jack City, man. My man Nino Brown starring Wesley Snipes. Yo, honestly, this is one of the greatest gangster movies of all time. Wesley Snipes playing Nino Brown, the modern day Scarface. Ice T's first acting role, playing some detective undercover trying to take down Nino Brown. Uh, Chris Rock is in this movie playing Pookie and uh, playing the greatest crackhead of all time. And uh, yo, I, I don't know what else to say, man, except uh, you know, my brother's keeper. So this is this is great, man. What am I my brother's keeper? What are you guys' thoughts on New Jack City, man? And it had one hell of a soundtrack too, man. Ali, I go to you. What's your thoughts? Uh yeah, New Jack classic movie, you know, the card and all that shit. I mean, it's got a bunch of classic lines, you know, rock a bye, baby, motherfucker. And, and then, uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, I, and I, you already did, you know, am I my brother's keeper? <laughs> yes. yes, I am. Yeah. <laughs> your $5 I never liked your for, pretty ass. I know. Sit your $5 dollar ass down before I make change. You know what I mean? Like, it's, <laughs> That's like, a good one. Like your boy, <laughs> uh, a birth a classic Martin scene. Yeah, yeah, definitely bur- uh, uh, beyond classic Martin scene. So, yeah, New Jack City was the shit, you know? Like, mm-hmm. definitely was. Yeah, Fina, what's your thoughts on this? Um, this this is, like, one of my favorite movies, man. Like yeah. I tell anybody, yo, if you come to my house, I got six movies on my wall. New Jack City is one of those movies, yo. Um, I think Wesley Snipes doesn't give enough credit for being, like, a super gangster. And when, it, when yeah. we talk about best gangsters in, in movie history, yeah, like everything. But the best part of the movie isn't just like him acting gangster the whole way. It's the end when he turned and start flipping on everybody. <clears throat> yo. Like he was like, yeah. nah, I won't go ahead. I was just a soldier. I was. I make no decisions. None of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I, I just loved how the way the movie turned out. Um, I love. I mean, it was one of the first movies I saw that. That the gangster almost got away with it. 
know yes. what I'm saying? Like, Almost, he, thought he, yeah. he thought he was in the clear to, you know, the neighborhood start, the, the, the old man in the neighborhood took him out, you yeah. know? Yeah. He had, he was, one, he was one hell of a shot. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He had the 357 or whatever, the handgun, yeah, the accurate, yeah. hit him right in the chest, yo. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But then it was like, you know, there's going to be a part two that he don't really die. That was the, like the, the hood scuttle butt because everybody oh, wanted a New Jack City part the two. Urban legend. Urban legend. Yeah. yeah. yeah but I was so, happy yeah. about I was happy about New Jack City because it put Dawson Brothers on the map. <laughs> you know? <laughs> when he Once he did that thing to Christopher Williams, that did it, yo. When he yeah. pumped his ass and stuck the knife through his hand and said, you know, sorry ass mother. That's when I knew. I was like, yeah. Yeah, we on the map now, yo. We back, yo. Yeah, uh, uh, I mean, definitely. Uh, we gotta get it more into Chris Rock, yo. We we skimmed over that shit too much because Chris Rock was the most get it to Chris Rock, greatest of crackhead of all time. Yo, yeah, he had definitely had classic lines. Yo, from the uh, used to be the prom queen, now you nothing but the prom fiend. And that was that was Holly Berry too. They had Holly Berry up there yes. looking crazy, yo. You know what I mean? Definitely. One of the prettiest women the on earth, they had her ass cracked out for real, for real. And then, yeah. uh, my favorite line, yo, y'all, <laughs> you know, my little uh, 10th grade, 7th grade, when he was in there with, uh, because then went down the girls are still, so they had them all like topless and shit. He was in there, what you got, dumb titties, girl, skin milk? <laughs> 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 it was all one. That's why he was, he was high. Right, yeah, that's why he was high as hell, yo. That shit was crazy. Yeah. Like, but Dino you know them, they had it. What? Uh, I don't know who made that high, yo. But I don't care how long you've been clean, yo. I don't hire a crackhead to be up working. I know. That was the dumbest shit ever. Him up from the dump, yo. <laughs> yo. Yeah. But no, he thought he was doing good. You know, he thought he sh- shook his, his, his demons. So, you know, he's in there. And then he's just around it all day. All yeah. day. All day, like, like literally a, all day. It's like a fat, fat person working at McDonald's, yo. You cooking fries all day. You gonna sneak some fries, yo. You know what that, I'm saying? That's true. That's true. It was bound to happen. It was bound to happen, yo. It was bound to happen. So what was the yeah. what was the soundtrack? I just know Juice. No, no, the uh, I want to sex you up. Uh, yeah, living for the for city. The for the love of money. For the love of money. With the OJ. Yeah. yeah, they had yeah. a guy had a joint on there. Yeah, New Jack City. Jack City. Yeah. Um, the I'm still waiting by Johnny Girl. Yeah. Oh, that was oh, wow. on there. Oh, yeah, actually, I didn't know that was on there. Yeah, Corey, I know what okay. you got screwed up, but we probably the, the best little transition. We he said it, yo. I forgot that was on this soundtrack, yo. If you can find, it, you got a picture for that. For your Ooh, boys, be bad. Tell it be bad, yeah. <laughs> oh color yeah, bad. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, check so, out the channel. We got a color be bad. I want to sex you up review. There you go, yo. That's there we go, go, man. Go. Look. They were on there, yo. So let's let's go to that, man. One of the they actually this was the biggest song of the year that actually came from that soundtrack, yo. So uh Color Me Bad. I mean, look, it, it's starring Rick James, uh George Michael, Kenny, Kenny G, and uh Vanilla Ice. So we we got the whole crew here. I mean, that's that's basically what I see when I watch Turn Me Bad. I mean, he does you know, so this is this is the crew, but it yeah. was a huge song. I want to sex you up. Came out on this soundtrack, uh, New Jack City, and it was actually the biggest hit of the year. So what, what we got? Yeah, I love two. this. Oh, I love this. Oh, I'm sorry. Number two hit of the year. Yeah, it was number two Billboard. That's how I got. But uh, well, obviously number one on R&B because that shit was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a great song, song, yo. They play this song all day and night. You go all and day go. and the video. Yeah. They look like posters, yeah. yo. <laughs> I mean, they definitely. I mean, look at this picture, yo. But they like okay. from like I forgot where they from. They from like Oklahoma. Oh, yeah, remember, Oklahoma. So we were on a review. <laughs> yeah, that's what it is. It's like, like we get it. Now. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Yeah, they definitely like they look like they won't Oklahoma. ever down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I want to say, yeah, for real. I want to say, you was a good song. Go, go ahead. It yeah, was a great no, song. And also, especially like back then, you know, I was young, whatever to hear, just even just to hear the word sex, like just on the radio yeah. all day long was like a thing. You like, hey, like ooh, I want to sex yeah. you up. You know what I mean? It's just like, yeah. like, really, they say sex on the radio? Like, that's crazy, man. Like, yeah, man. I don't know why. In my mind, that was like the craziest thing ever, man. But it, no, it, it was a good trend. Uh, uh, people saying that the girls and shit, too, yo. 
know what I'm saying? They, they, when they trying to front with the girls, they they come direct with that quote that quote for a while, yo. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I it definitely was a great song, man. I mean, it definitely kicked off there. We're gonna keep going dyslexic with us, right? Go ahead. <laughs> what with us switching? <laughs> yeah, we don't have to. We don't have to figure something out. <laughs> Go ahead. <Doug. laughs> Oh, damn, Phenom said, fuck y'all. Phenom just fell off. off. It's all right, yeah. man. We can still go on, man. We can still go on. Yeah. But this this was a huge song of the year. But we're going we gonna to make a transition. We already talk about music. We got Color Me Bad on the list. So something else that came out in 1991. Phoenix, I'm back. So we would already yeah. talked about Color Me Bad on the list. We're going to go to something else that came out big in 1991, staying on the music. I mean, look, you know it. I know it. We all know it. Grunge came out with Nirvana. There we go, man. I mean, this kicked off the grunge era in 1991. When everybody thinks of 1991, they think of Nirvana smells like teen spirit. But there were other bands out there like uh, Pearl Jam and Soundgarden. Um, but yeah, man, grunge came out in 1991. And uh, what, what are you guys' thoughts of this grunge, man? This grunge era, especially smells like teen spirit. Uh, I mean, grunge kind of, kind of crossed over to my style of the street due to MTV, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. uh, MTV was popping, everybody, it was must-see TV, they showed a lot of grunge videos. Um, I think Spells Like Teen Spirit was one of the most iconic songs of my lifetime, you know Absolutely. what I mean? Uh, and, you know, you just, you just fuck with the music. I mean, it was just what it was, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It was grunge, it was dirty, it was dark. It was, it was- Damn so dirty. You know what I'm saying? And but it was, and it sounded good though. And the, it's and we all know, which is Ali has said this before, the explosion of grunge is music that's started by people affected by adverse weather conditions. You know, like <laughs> the weather was Seattle, just so bad yeah. there that the music reflected it. And it reflected in their music and even in the way they dressed. I mean, they dressed grungy, <laughs> for real. They flannel shirts, dirty jeans with holes in them, beat up Overtime, tennis shoes. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, but uh, when I think of grunge, man, I think it smells like Teen Spirit, and I mean, I'm sure there's some other big ones out there, but grunge hit it, man. It, it hit hard in 1991. Um, Molly, what's your thoughts on that? I don't know. I mean, it's just like everything y'all said. I mean, I ain't gonna act like I'm a big grunge head, but I knew Nirvana. That was pretty much it. Like, Nirvana came <laughs> in. I was like, yo, Nirvana's fire. Uh, the rest of them, like the Soundgardens and the... Uh, uh, Pearl oh, jams and stuff. Yeah. There you go. You can name them. <laughs> I can't name them. Like the rest of them, I don't really know shit. Yeah. Like, I'm you know, out. I, I ain't really. <laughs> Nirvana. Yeah. I'm out. I'm out. Pretty much, yeah. So, uh, but it definitely changed the scene, you know. Yeah, yeah, it definitely did, man. Um, what about you, Tony? Man, you got any thoughts yeah. on grunge, man? Anything? Never got to my house. Like that's when I went and got something to drink <laughs> when it came on MTV. Like I, I just never got into it. It looked like. Some hippie white people to me was in my bag definitely in 1991 um I, I was in a christian house so i was trying to listen to songs where you could cuss <laughs> <laughs> um, nwa I and, and did they cuss they might ice cuss, cube though. they might have cursed so man who's who uh grunge uh, music i don't know right? yeah I, don't know. I never heard i mean if they did yeah. i couldn't understand it to know yeah it wasn't so it let me ask you this question so like now that we're adults, you know what I'm saying? We've been friends for you know, damn near 30 some years. What does that has this made it to your side of the street yet? Like the older you got, because this is kind of what we do on the channel. You know what I'm saying? We don't go back into our childhood and listen to shit we never listened to or didn't pay attention to. <laughs> now that you're older, the stuff crosses to your side of the street now. What do you mean by cross up my side of the street? You listen to shit that you never listened to before, yo. Know? Oh, okay. Wow. Because we know, because we know what the group chat to look like, yo. You, you a mob deep head, Wu Tang, all that stuff. All that. Yeah, you a big mob deep head. Yeah. Rapping, rapping. yeah. Man, Tone, don't feel bad, yo. Fuck. I no, I'm not making them feel bad. Because this is this we we've been like we got mad videos. We never people be like, y'all never heard of this. No, nah, we never hear this. You know what I'm saying? I think I I want the people out the crew is you who really don't. I've I've never heard you talk about shit outside of rap or R and B, so that's why I asked you that question. Now, I mean, I, I listen to a lot of like Michael McDonald and the Doobie Brothers. <laughs> like a lot of the Doobie Brothers. Yeah, like that, that might be the type of stuff I listen to that I didn't listen to. 
you know, uh, the Bee Gees. I, like I, yeah, I like, with the Bee Gees. Yeah, now like, more than I did, you know, when I was younger. That, that so it might be something like that, but um, I can't I can't think of anything else that I, I'm into now that I wasn't into back then. Yeah, you know, that's how I be. You know, you know what I was into that a lot of people probably don't know about. <laughs> But I really was wait, 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 wait. We got a couple of things, Joe. We got to get into these comments just for a second, man. Just for a okay, second. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, you can. Somebody, oh, God, I got to scroll up because I'm on the YouTube side. But one thing was crazy. Uh, Critton09 did mention, like, kids did dress one way before grunge and then another way after, yo. It was like, boom. All of a sudden, everybody was wearing, like, plaid, like, the kid. You know what I mean? It went from flannel uh, shirts. Pr- the flip, jeans with the yeah. holes in them. Yes, for real, for real. Chicago says what we always say is grunt music took out heavy metal. But I would say so much heavy metal, it took out uh glam rock. Pop glam rock. There you go. Like the yeah, big head. It took out that glam rock. Yeah, it really took over glam rock. And nobody was wearing the makeup no more after that. Yeah, okay. yeah, because it yeah, it went from that day. Yeah, like Death Leopard and stuff like that. Yeah, no, and no, I'm talking about focus. like uh um, what is it, Motley Crue? <laughs> Motley yeah, Crue. Motley Crue. I don't know. I, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I, you know, I don't know all the glam rock bands, but it was a yeah. it was a window of time in the eighties with the glam yeah. rock. Um, Derek yeah. says, uh, "Smells like Teen Spirit was gangster rock." I, I okay. might have been. It could, yeah. Yeah, it could be. You know me. And yeah, then, I uh, could, sh- I the shop of Man Carter. <laughs> My man Carter said, I'm wearing a flannel now. <laughs> Where Shout am out I? Here, man. I, I got a couple flannels in my closet still, yo. <laughs> I mean, it was the style. I mean, it was yeah. the style, man. It was the style. Um, but we were talking about earlier when, when uh, Phoenix was asking Tony about stuff that he listened to that he reflects on. Look, I, I got something I've listened to in 91 that I bet you none of y'all like, but it was a hit. It was a hit. It was a hit. And here it is right here, man. Gerardo Rico Suave, yo. Come on, yo. I can't be the only one to listen to this song. And I don't know about y'all, but honestly, I didn't know that he was, I didn't even know his name was Gerardo. When this song came out, I just thought he was was Rico Rico Suave. Suave. Yeah, I thought it was Rico Suave. The white boy name is Rico Suave. (laughs) So what he did? Can I? Am I the only one to listen to this song? It's a dope song. I mean, honest, but he's a one-hit wonder. But this was a huge. Nah, song. he's uh, uh, he's definitely mm-hmm. the uh, the poster boy for one-hit wonders, yo. I'll say that because mm-hmm. it's all this, hot, this song crossed over every Rico. every demographic you can. Because I heard people calling other people, "Well, you think you Rico Suave now?" Off of this shit, we never heard that shit nothing a day in our life before this song. Right. Um, yeah. He played, and that's the first time I heard like a Spanish, uh, English mix on a song. You know what I'm saying? He's speaking in both languages. Um, mm-hmm. You ain't heard, but then like, uh, <laughs> nah, <laughs> I mean, they never saw Spanish and English on a song at the same time. That I can in English. <laughs> like, what are you about? I don't I'm know shit about Menudo. Except they swap my members every year, so I, I just know Ricky Martin about was in Menudo. Menudo. Yeah, Ricky I, Martin was- I grew up listening to Menudo. Like the the uh, the song would be in Spanish, but the the hook would be in English. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. I, I, this was I, my shit. I don't know that. I yeah, this, no, this song. song it was actually pretty pretty dope, yo. It was a yeah. dope song, man. Y'all no, can't y'all trip me out because that's the only thing anybody knows. Like. You can't say it's a dope song. Say it's a dope song. He said, yeah, that's I, call 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 I can say it like he said, I only eat deal with the female species. I eat a raw like sushi. Huh? <laughs> yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> it is terrible. Yo. <laughs> it's, it's still a good song, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's a good song. That's why it's called a one hit wonder. It's a yeah. dope song. But, but go I, ahead. I, I, I want you to talk about Rico Suave. I mean, my thoughts is what you keep calling it. A I dope guess Phoenix song. didn't like it. Yeah, you keep calling it a dope song, and brother, like I said, you can't name one lyric off this damn song. Phoenix had have to say you know, something in Spanish. I don't, I can't understand that, but I know the Rico Suave part. All right, I give you that, man. But no, I mean, it was just one of those songs. I mean, I don't even really consider this like a real song, so to speak. It's just like what? one of those moments, like the songs that aren't real songs to me, like. For instance, like, uh, 
I'm too sexy. I'm too sexy for my like that's not it's like a song, but it ain't like a real song. It's just like a viral. It was viral before the internet, basically. Or even if it's something like what's the Gundam style? Oh, like it's a song, but right, right. At least that one you can probably play somewhere and people would. But I guess back in the day, I was in the clubs that had, you might play Rico Suave in the club. There you go. That's the word I'm looking for. Zozo. novelty song. Like I can't consider it like a real song. But every every okay. genre of music okay. has novelty songs. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm like, not saying that, that they don't. But, I just said I don't consider. But when it you a say it's song. not a real song, like it's a real song because, like, whether you liked it or not, a lot of motherfuckers liked it. You know what I'm Thank saying? Thank you, Venus. So, and, so and that's all I'm know. saying. You can like it's like your taste is your taste. Like, I'll give you an example. Like Young MC Bust the Move. I hate that song. I've always hated that oh. song. But that song charted what? with every motherfucker who ever listened to it. You know what I'm saying? That's all I love that song. Way better than Rico's. Well, I mean, so I'm not saying you, I'm not discounting your opinion, but you discount other people's opinion when it comes to it, yo. Like a hit could be a hit to a lot of people. I mean, it could you know be a hit, it's still a novelty. Yo, motherfucker, a pet rock was the hit. Like <laughs> that would be was a good toy. <laughs> like, but it, I mean, but it, but it, but I'm saying it, it never start. It never started off as a novelty. It, it 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 came into a novelty. There's a lot of shit that came like people loved, and now we look like, back and be like, mm, that shit was whack. I don't know why people loved it, but it had the game on the chokehold for a long time. You know what I'm saying, and when novelty song, I look back like Vanilla Ice had novelty song, MC Hammer, like Young MC. It's a whole bunch of shit that's like you go back and look yeah, like why yeah. do people like this shit. Right, you know what I'm saying, but yeah, I mean, I'm but that's why I can't discount that. I, I'm I'm 100 with you, Phoenix. Exactly, 100 percent, man. It might not have been your favorite song, Ali, but still, it was a hit. It was a hit, man. But you know, the thing is that you had the Rico Suave song that you didn't like, but I'm sure you did like this song, man. I mean, so here we go. End of the Sandman came out 1991 by Metallica. Huge hit. This is totally different from Rico Suave. So we did a reaction to this on our channel and we freaking loved it, yo. So I had no idea about this song. Um, it The way this comes off, man, it just builds and builds and builds. And it's a great song, man. My man is killing it from beginning to end. I love this song, man. And I'm sure everybody on here would agree, but this song came out in 1991, man. Your thoughts, um, Phenom, on uh, Metallica and of Sandman. When we um when we did the review on our, our channel, check it out. That was the first time I heard a song all the way through. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, I, I obviously the intro was iconic. Um, us, you know, like like me living in, in DMV, you know, Virginia Tech is real heavy. Um, mm -hmm. and Virginia Tech plays this before every football game, so it got the crowd hype. So that's how I kind of knew it. Um, yeah. I listen to a lot of sports talk radio, and they played this like the intro coming out of a break. You know what I'm saying? So, but it never mm -hmm. played the whole song. But but going back and listening to the whole song, it's a dope ass song, yo. From beginning yeah. to end, yo. So, yo, shout out to Metallica. Yeah. Straight up, man. Yeah, you gotta listen to it, Tony. It's a yeah. dope record. Um, Ali, man, what's your thoughts about Metallica? Oh, it's definitely a dope ass record. Um, and like I said, I remembered the video. I didn't really remember the song too much at the time before the, you know reacted to it. I definitely the video I remember they used to play this. I mean, it ain't yeah. too much more. To, I mean, I can only really echo what y'all saying. It was fire. Uh, definitely between like that and, and watching like you know what I'm saying. If you watch like Virginia Tech when they do their like intro, they play that shit. Yo, the crowd be going crazy up there, yo. So uh, I definitely. Uh, get love yeah. Metallica. I could have talked Metallica, like one of the greatest <laughs> rock bands ever, ever made. I mean, you got my boy Laws and yeah. so just the fact that I know any of their names should, should let you know that they're big time. So shout out to Metallica. Has Tone ever heard a Metallica song? Have you ever heard a Metallica song? Sorry, I've been says. diagnosed with nigga ears, so <laughs> I, I don't know. No, <laughs> yeah, Yo, man, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's so, man. It, it, it gives you a different, um, uh, a different feel. Like, I understand, I, I listen to music like I understand now. Like, oh, I understand why people thought this was a good song. You know what I'm yeah, that's, that's yeah, it's a good song, man. It's, it is a good song. Surprise, yeah. well, not surprisingly, I guess people love it. I shouldn't be as, as surprised as I was since they're so big, yeah. but no, it's a fire -ass song for sure. For sure, yeah. And, and last but not least, definitely check out our channel for that reaction because I think the one that we did was live, I think they're in Moscow, 
Yep. Oh man, it's mm -hmm. crazy. Yep. It's crazy. Shout out to Kara. Like, Kara pointed it out. Yep. Oh, yep. We yeah. definitely did that one. Um, yeah, and, that that, dope. That and to dope. see how many people out there, you know, I, I like the, the the lore, the scuttlebutt, the 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 the, the fiction, <laughs> maybe <laughs> was like a hundred, a one point six million people was actually watching, but it might have been totality. I don't know the numbers. There was a lot of yeah. motherfuckers out there it was. watching Metallica. A lot of them. I don't oh, know. I just feel like there should have been pause in there. Anytime you say scuttlebutt, it should just be some kind of pause or something. Like that. <laughs> uh, it's, it's actually, it's actually one of the next round of discussion. So, Ali oh, yeah. so, got a sophomore humor. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, anything you else got to say about Metallica before we move on? Because this was one of the most popular songs of 1991, but we're going to go to one of the most popular oh, oh, videos. Oh, oh. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, nah, I was on uh, I was on the wrong joint, man. I've been having to have so many screens up for this. I was just gonna say, uh, oh yeah, let's go ahead. Man. You can go ahead, Master go ahead. Uh, Daniel <laughs> um, says Master of Puppets is another good one. Okay, um, I don't have we reacted to that. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, because I I want to say we have. <laughs> Cause look, we do so many reactions. They some of them blend together after a while. But Master Puppets, yes, I definitely remember that. We have uh, reacted to that one. That's that one. that song didn't blend together. That stood out a lot to me. Yeah, yeah, you know that was saying? compared that to was the other ones. Too. Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, because that was our man. second Metallica song we listened to. But yeah. uh, the, the content about drug addiction and stuff like that. Yes, you know what I'm saying that was that was good. That was good. Yeah, yeah. That was good. Um. You, you hitting anything else about before no, I move on? No, I'm good. Okay, all right. So, like I was saying before, uh, this was one of the most popular songs, Metallica, uh, Enter Sandman, but I'm going to go to one of the most popular videos at the time. Um, so, we're going to kick this up here right now. CNC Music Factory, man. Uh, going to make you sweat. Everybody dance now by CNC Music Factory. So, uh, they literally dance through the whole video. No shirt, abs showing. Uh, and in this video, as you can see right here, you got the skinny chick singing the hook, singing all through the songs. And actually, it is not even her. That was the big thing with this. It was uh, Martha Wash or Walsh. I think that's how you say her name. But yeah, man, this was a big video back in the day, man. So everything came out after this. And I think that overshadowed how good the song was. The fact that she wasn't the real singer of the song. And uh, word has it that Martha didn't even know until the video got shot and she saw the video and said wait a minute nobody called me to tell me to be in the video yeah so this is crazy but um i love the song though. i thought it was a great song lyrics was kind of whack but overall i thought it was a good dance track um phenom what's your thoughts on this um dog, i didn't know i was such a big house music fan you know back in the early days because you know no shout out to 103 jams our radio station back home they used to play house music all the time you know what i'm saying um, but then it's my taste in music got got shifted more because I used mm -hmm. to listen to house music. You no, know, we got to college, we left the dance floor when house music came on, and then when right. house music went off, we went back on the dance floor. You know what I'm saying? So it was like one of those things where like I was in it, I was out of it, but now I'm in it again. Uh CNC Music Factory was probably one of the bigger groups that I remember from house music. That uh Crystal yep. Waters, like the uh, bag lady, not was it bag lady. Yeah, that. yeah. There's yeah, a couple of more dance, uh, big time dance songs yeah. from this time period. But yeah, go ahead. I think that was probably one of the times where like a lot of music started meshing. I think MTV had a lot to do with it because you know they started playing hip hop, grunge, heavy metal, dance, pop, all that stuff at the same time. Yeah, yeah. a good melting pot. Yeah. What about you, O? Honestly, I'm trying to remember this damn song. <laughs> everybody, everybody, everybody. I wish you could watch me because I was pulling it. I was pulling it. Oh, yo, it's like, like going to make you sweat. Dun, 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 baby, oh, yeah, dun, 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 the rhythm right. take control. Yeah. Let but they don't want that beat always yeah. get played at. Uh, dun, 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 sweat. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, like sporting events too, yo. You got to do it like that. Yeah, yeah. Sweat. It took me a minute. Then I was like, oh, yeah, that is it. Yeah, once y'all started singing it. Uh, so shout out to y'all. Thank you. But no, it was a good song. Now that I know what song it is, it was definitely a good song. Yeah, it is. How y'all been dancing, man? Yeah. They used to dance in like combat boots or some shit. I don't know what the fuck. I, I mean, the 90s video. was combat. That was part of the 90s fashion, yo. <laughs> combat boots and flannels, yo. 
and mm-hmm. oversized clothes, y'all. But no, nah, it was, I mean, damn, I mean, like, you gotta admit, yeah. y'all, like, that music was good back then, y'all. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I, like house music. Yeah. I like house music. I mean, I like house music. I mean, I don't really. I mean, this song's all right. I mean, I guess I would probably dance back in. When I think of house music, I think of shit like percolating and shit. I like like some shit motherfuckers will wild out to. You know what I mean? Time for the percolator. Well, I think I think uh, we were uh, we were too young for the, the real no dance scene because no, we were still in like middle school and high school when this shit came out. But like in the movies and and like adults. I used to that's that was the club scene, yo, house music. Yeah, you know I mean there's definitely yeah. some big ones. Uh Tony, you remember CNC Music Factory. I mean, did you do you like this song or was it or you didn't you had nigga is no no I, I remember this song. I didn't particularly like it, but I remember this song and everybody else liked it, but not me. <laughs> I remember CC Peniston. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, that's all and, and uh who used to To show me love. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Is that see, I thought that ACC like, all these songs like, the yeah. same song, you know? Like they, they yeah. have the same beat tempo, yeah. you know. That's funny, do, I, I thought I swear that was CC Pinnacle, didn't it? Mm-mm. What's no, the one she's nah, yeah. what black, black, black box, I think, or something like that. What's you know what? You might be you might be right. It might be black box. Which Crazy. I don't know why they called her that, but you know, she, she but there cute. were other dance songs right, in that time period. period. So we oh, had keep, some on, that. keep on walking, hey, talking, hey, 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 yeah, I remember. Oh, yeah, that's right, what it was. Walking. walking, yeah, that's a yeah, because I like that video. I thought you see, see, bad. So these were these were the other dance tracks that came out in 1991. Uh, so the one on the far left, top left, is a uh, Gypsy Woman by Crystal Waters, you know, like she's homeless, yeah, I love her. you know, <laughs> and she stands there begging for money, you know, that yeah. one. Yeah. Um, then the one at the top right, this is, I don't know why they call this, this is called a Tom's Diner by Suzanne Vega. So this oh, yeah. is the one like, um, <laughs> oh, cause I had no idea what that was at all. But now once you get that, yeah. Damn, yeah. I didn't know what, what to call that type of music, oh, brother. Yeah. yeah at least so it. I never knew what she looked like until I had to pull it up, and I was like, "Damn, that's that's her singing that song." Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I like the beat. Yeah, I like the hook. I never liked yeah, the lyrics. Was that that was a sense. major hit. No, the, the lyrics made no sense at all, yo. She was just <laughs> rambling <laughs> about nothing, and they just said, "Did did did it?" The lyrics made no sense, yo. They really didn't. They really. Well, I will say this though. I don't know if you remember, yep. like on the hip hop side, Nikki D had a song called "Daddy's Little Girl" off that beat. Daddy's yes, little that was her girl. first single. Like, that was her Daddy first was single. Daddy never had a clue for what his little girl would do. Basically, about the song, song. "Shorty," you know, stepping like going out and having sex with people behind her dad's back and all that stuff. Yeah, like, that was a big yeah. ass song back then. Yeah, that was a good yeah. song. That was a good song. And uh, the one at the bottom is uh, I don't know if y'all remember this, but MTV played a lot. EMF, unbelievable. Oh yeah, that, yeah, yeah, unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Bum, 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 dun, 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 dun. yeah, so that that was a big song, man. You know, so that that was the thing, man. I mean, you're right. There were a lot of stuff that just kind of blended together in that time period. You know, it ain't ain't no doubt about it. Yeah. So moving on, man. We're gonna move on to the popular things. We're gonna go to a little bit of fashion here, man. A little bit of fashion here. So. Everybody knows about this. Um, Bugle Boys was at the height in 1991, man. So let's go to this. Bugle Boys. Everybody knows this commercial. Um, the lady drives up, says, excuse me. Well, literally, the guy's in the desert by himself. <laughs> and the lady drives up, passes him, and says, excuse me, are those Bugle Boy jeans you're wearing? He looks in the car and says, why, why yes, they are. And she drives off and leaves his ass in the middle of the desert. So... I don't know what this commercial did, but it was a hell of a hit because everybody in the 90s started wearing Bugle Boy jeans after that. And I had me a pair of Bugle Boy jeans, man. I ain't going to front. But um, do you guys remember this commercial? And did you have a pair of Bugle Boy jeans? Yeah, because everybody in goddamn school was asking that question the next day. Every time that shit yeah, came on TV, people walked out the hall. Like, yeah. Okay. Uh, I had a pair of Bugle Boys, yo. I never... Uh, they was jeans to me, yo. But like at that time, I was I was living in D.C., so we was more wearing like used jeans and shit. We didn't mm-hmm. wear bugle boys. I ain't wear no bugle boys. I got got down to uh, Hampton Roads, yo. I don't think yeah. I ever had any bugle boy jeans. That's <laughs> what I was gonna say. Not that old yeah. shit. 
Did they sell? Did they sell Solomon JW? Did they sell no, they was a JC Penny. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I was about to say yeah. some Jordan. <laughs> we had Lee. I had Lee's. <laughs> if they won't for Wrangler, two, what, Wrangler, <laughs> and Jordan. Yeah, and only like the good. You be like, oh, Wranglers ain't that bad now. Don't just be like motherfucking start stuff. That shit, like, like yeah. the no, no, they came out. They came out the factory behind. Yeah, yeah that's so rough. Yeah, so wash Lee jeans. Yeah. Yo, yo, so you would get some chafing on with them, <laughs> with them, the the, the, the Wranglers. The those are the biggest. With the, the Wranglers, boy, you be yeah, chafing you, like a mug. And those are the biggest. Like, like, that's just a stiff area. You be walking like like a motherfucker's like just straight laying out this bitch. Them bugle boy jeans, they was like forty dollars in uh <laughs> Vegas. <laughs> yeah, it was uh this was the Vegas four dollars in belts. <laughs> yeah, that was a throwback. Nah, <laughs> I got my, my, my lead jeans from JC Penny. <laughs> yeah, they were nah, 19 99 no, nah, not JC I, Penny's I, 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 from Penny's. We go to Penny's. We go to Penny's, baby. That's what I mean. No, 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 that's right. JC Penny. We got the Wrangler from Montgomery Wards. <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn. Montgomery that's Ward. definitely a throwback. I mean, that yeah. is definitely a throwback. Yeah, man. I remember my mom ordering jeans out the Sears catalog. Yeah, that's that's where my mom ordered her jeans from. I was like, damn. Or I got the infamous hand me down from the cousin that was three years older than me. <laughs> that, that was a big time in my family. I, I ain't even heard that. <laughs> that would have been nice. Yeah, yeah. 90s yeah, fashion, man. you know, I think uh 90s fashion was really loud too, as far as the colors go. Because I remember somebody putting it in a cross color. Like cross color, like that shit was expensive. Like yeah. I, I, oh yeah, I yeah, 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 cross, yeah. Colors. cross color. Nah, I had to lie. I, I, well, I can't put my pop, all my pop. This is that. But one year, I was able to get some pop, some cross color. I mean, he ain't do nothing legal about it, but it was just had a young lady he was dating at the time. She wanted to get him good, so she bought me and my brother some cross colors. So I had some cross color shits. But I used to... Uh, nice magic. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I ain't like to say we got the eyes. So that's a like green eye. You know, I'm no I'm, green I eye. Skipped. Yeah, I got skipped on that. But uh, me and my boy Vu, remember Vu Bay? Vu has like an outfit, and I had an outfit. We used to just trade. Like I wear his shit, he wear mine, and the next week we trade. Like we just swap it out, yo. We used to swap. Oh, I used to wear blue sarachis, yo. Like we used to just swap shit. Be like, yo. Yeah, you wore your crossovers this week? I was like, yeah. He's like, yo, all right, boom. I'm about to put it on. I, now I put it on his, yo. Yeah, that's, that's crazy when you think about it, man. Like, oh, they, how do these kids, these kids got it good nowadays. Right, like, they got it mad they good. Got it yo. Made it good yo. <laughs> like, they don't um, understand my, the struggle. When I grew up, like, because like, me and my sister, like, we're old, we're the older grandchildren out of all our grand, mm-hmm. all of my grandma's grandchildren. So, you know, we got. Like spoiled a little bit, so I used to have cross color. But then, like one time, I said, "Grandma, I want these cross colors." She's like, "Cool." So she goes to get it from JW, and JW didn't sell cross color. They sold the. I was about to say, yeah, was, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> it was cross color esque. You know what I'm saying? Cross color, you can tell the difference. So she it's said it to me, like I was heartbroken one day. I was like, I never wore it. You know, I was you had, a, you had the Ron wearing. Harper of, of cross color. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the bootleg cross. Everybody, but everybody had that shit though. If you go to Jeans yeah. West, you Yo, know you could tell. Jean West. <laughs> you could tell the difference uh, between cross color and Jeans West. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I used to, I used to go shopping JW. I used to hide my bag. Like you go in there real quick. I grab it was two for twenty. Boop, boop, grab me some jeans. Mm-hmm. Just be walking out the mall real quick. Yeah, yeah. 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 Ten times and back and forth with the bag, like yeah, I got some dude. <laughs> like you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, Yo, I, I was, was talking to Tony early. He was talking about Scotsman, man. Did you guys shop, shop at Scotsman? <laughs> oh, that's the yes. asymmetrical warehouse, yo. Yeah, yeah. Scotsman. You, know you, you, you put you some shit on way, Scotsman. <laughs> explain <laughs> Scotsman to your listeners, yo. So Scotsman was the store where you could buy name brand stuff. But it was all irregular. So irregular. they just had racks of everything. You could just dig through the racks, dig through the racks. 
but like you you'll be like, oh shit, look at this. Like you might like, I ain't just I'm just using an example. Cross colors, for example, we just talked about boom. Look at this cross yeah. color hoodie. You put that joint on, you like, let me try it on. One sleeve will be up here. <laughs> <laughs> the other sleeve will be <laughs> on. <laughs> yeah. be like, like, but then you'd be like, yo, I can make it work. I can make it work. <laughs> so in your head, in your head, yo, the jeans is to be like mismatched. Like yeah. the, I mean mismatch. I'm talking about the legs are mismatched. One leg just no. long, one leg just long. Yeah. It wasn't <laughs> it even in the mall. That, the good thing about it saying a lot of people because it wasn't in the mall. Yeah, it wasn't, it in, the wasn't mall, in the yeah. mall. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. It was in the mall. You it was, get, it was right get spotted right. there, but it was like it was around spot. the corner down oh, that, the street from the mall. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you might you might the, stop there when you get to the mall. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, no, we used to be we used to be in the Scotsman examining yo like. <laughs> Lining oh, yeah. up yo, in front of each other, like you see anything, yo, you no, know, like the tag might be out of place. Yes, a little yeah, bit. It was all tight. One stitching, one stitching might be going the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, we been there. Yeah. Yo, I got, I got caught. I had a champion hoodie, yo, <laughs> and I tried it on. Like I, I examined that thing down, yo. I bought it. Champion hoodie was like forty dollars back then, yo. I got that jump for like thirteen ninety nine. Thought I was nice, yo. <laughs> and just like Ollie said, yo, my, one of my sleeves was longer than the other, yo. <laughs> I, was pretty, I was like, yo, I'll, I'll never go back again, yo. It was, oh man, I got got on that one. Yeah, I got so South people got to understand this, Yeah. Nah, I used to go oh, South. It would be funny. Me and my brother, like, we used to go, and my cousin, me, Aunt, me, Quinn, Tom, we go there. But we, we used to go there after dark. We got wait for this. <laughs> the sun to go down. We go yo, in there. Like, like, yo, man, we, you got that from Scotchman. We know. <laughs> yes, I know that. That was definitely like a diss. Like, yo, you got, you got that from Scotchman, dude. Scotchman, that uh, shit. No, nah, I'm going to tell I'm going to bring something back. Let's see if y'all remember this, yo. When y'all used to rock, you like your polo, Ralph Lauren polo, or uh, like a Lacoste shirt. I used to rock the Izod shirt, yo. You remember yeah. Izod? I remember Izod that. was the show. I, I, I messed with Izod hard. Oh, that's the thing. Yo, Izod, Izod was had an alligator on it, and then Lacoste yes. took it over, and now. Now that's what it yeah, was. Yeah, Angel, Angel rocked the eyes eye, yo. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. I never you can tell the eyes eye. The eyes eye, it. though, it's when you get when you wear it the first time, it's all crisp and shit. And then the next time you're yo. watching it wear it, the collar be all upside down. <laughs> yo, yo. Yeah, yo, yeah, never yeah, get yeah. that collar. The collar be over flapped you. over you. <laughs> <laughs> yo, that's true. Yeah, that collar would never. Yeah, you can't, you can't wash it, yo. <laughs> You know, know that collar go that tip, like the tip of the collar gonna flip over, yo. You can't get it back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here's like Lacasta was first, maybe. I don't know. But the yeah, Azai, yeah. I used to mess with the Azai because they they had an Azai, especially at the outlet. They had an outlet store in Williamsburg. How you go in there, Joy, rack up some Azai? Still there, actually. Oh, boom, boom. Yo, yo, I, they have some good Shoot, shirts, I, man. Yeah. I, was like, I might bring it back. <laughs> You sure yeah, you know, yeah. see me? I might be eyes out out. Yo, B dubs, yo. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got a story about this shit. So all I had you had a baseball cap. I had a baseball cap. Mm. Shout out to uh our boy Twan. He stole my fucking shit. You know what I'm saying? So I had a, a baseball <laughs> cap. You too. And, and, and <laughs> <laughs> so we know he ain't listening to this shit. I know that guy though. But um, no, he I had a baseball cap. And they had had like you know Janet Jackson Rhythm Nation shit. You know what I'm saying? Back in the video, it was the baseball cap, and they had like a metal plate on it. My shit had Nasty Boy on it, yo. You know what I'm saying? I used to rock that bitch oh, all the time. I remember yo. that. Oh wow. I remember you know what I'm that. Saying? We had that when we was in college, yo. I found it. I bought it to college. But yo, I remember back in the day, it was a lot of time. There was like smart. Like, he bought it up. Baseball caps with all different type of shit glued on it, different sayings and shit on it. Oh yeah, that was nasty work back then, yo. Oh, yeah, yeah, man, this was good, man. Oh, we we oh, go ahead. See, B does say one more. I was like, British Knights and Brooks, like those are two throwbacks for real, yo. Definitely, I remember, man. I remember with British wow. Knights, but then they tried to say, yo, no, British Knights, they racist, yo. Like, it meant for something. It's like, I was like, oh, British man. Knights. yeah, I remember that too. 
I, yeah, think, I, didn't, uh, I didn't know what it was, but I, I don't either. But we switched to Deodoro, yo. <laughs> yeah, that's what, yeah, yeah. Everybody switched yeah. up, though. Everybody switched, switched up. to Deodoro. Yeah. <laughs> I think MC I Hammer was that. part of British Night, won't he? Didn't British he Night? British Night? Yeah, Hammer. He might have. Yeah, British Night. Yeah, Brooks. Yeah, yeah Brooks had British Night show. Oh, yeah, and Brooks, and Brooks is really the third guy. Yeah, and Brooks was actually all right, though. I mean, yeah, Brooks was really good. I ain't never who had who had Avia. I have some avias. Oh, I, I, uh, have, I have some avias, yeah. I you know, ABA came out with the, uh, they had like the fake Reebok classics. I had to say yep. fake, uh, not fake, but that's what, but you know, you can, where was the, uh, where was that store? Uh, yeah, what was that store? Like a and a and You can go a and a and was selling avias, like when school was coming, out, like, boom. Those should be like what, like two for forty or whatever, two for fifty. Yep. Like, 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 like hey, colors, yeah. crazy colors, yo. Yeah, all yeah, the yeah. colors. That's what I'm gonna say. Got to have yeah. purple, blue, yeah, and like yeah. some orange, Red, yellow, blue. green, yeah. and they had every color avia, yo. You know what I mean? Like the yeah. Reebok Classics, yeah. and then yeah. and the uh, oh, Etonics. So everybody had Etonics. Etonics. So. Oh, Etonics. Etonics too. That's what it was. Oh, Etonics yeah. Yeah. All the rainbow Etonics. Color. I had Etonics in every color. Yeah, they, yeah, that's yeah. what it was. Yeah, Etonics. Yep. Etonics yeah. forever. Yeah, they had like the suede yep. on the on the. Oh God, y'all. Y'all bringing it back, man. Y'all bringing it back. Damn. Yeah, yeah. Well, another popular thing other than Etonics, I mean, other than Etonics, is uh, this movie right here. My man, All Sports Nigga, came out, man. Blew it out the water, man. Uh, Terminator 2, directed by James Cameron, the same guy that directed Titanic. So this movie started Arnold Schwarzenegger, and basically... He comes back to protect John Carter from a new advanced T-1000, yo. And this was the biggest movie of the year and is considered one of the best sci-fi films and one of the best sequels of all time, man. What are you guys' thoughts on Terminator 2? I freaking loved it. I thought this movie was fantastic. Did not know James Cameron directed it, but I could definitely see why it's in the conversation one of the best sequels of all time because it seems like James Cameron's able to do that. Yeah. I loved it, man. No doubt. James you know, Cameron, uh, Cameron also um, did Aliens. Aliens. Yeah, that's aliens. right. That's right. The Avatar. Which is a great sequel. Yeah. Um, James Cameron, did you know he was married to Linda Hamilton? No. Really? Yeah, never. Are you serious? They was married. I didn't know that. Um, I didn't know that. I, this might be a popular or unpopular opinion. I think Terminator 2 is, is the best out of the Terminator franchises, though. I agree. Oh, yes. I agree with that. Yeah. You know, number one was good, but this one was like next level. Yeah, I'm talking about not just from. Don't like that spicy at all. You know, yeah. I don't, I, even the storyline, because I watched it like a couple months ago for the, I caught it on TV at the beginning and I watched mm -hmm. it all the way through. It's a really good movie. Like the plot was it's really good. It still holds up. It's all it's hold up. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Definitely a great movie. I remember seeing that shit at uh, Coliseum. Movie. Mm -hmm. right, right. The, motor, the motorcycle truck scene, yo. Oh, which was yeah. like unheard of, yo. Yeah, when groundbreaking the, when the T one thousand broke up and it the, it started molding melting yeah, back together. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It was yeah, it was a hell of a good movie because it switched the concept up where he was good now. Yeah, he's good. I that I think that was just fantastic. I mean, it just it was really good, man. Well, what about you? Oh, what were your thoughts on this movie? Oh no, T2 is definitely a classic, probably one of the best sequels ever made. Not even, not even probably, it is one of the best sequels ever made. Um yeah. and like you know what I'm saying the storyline was good. My bad, I guess. That My allergies right. fucking up. Uh yeah, but the storyline was good. But then on top of the storyline, that was like these uh CGI effects or what have you back then, like this was like next level, like Mm -hmm. When they threw my Terminator dude up against the wall one way, and then his face just came back the other way, like and all that, like I was like, "Yo, this is like the greatest thing I ever saw on a movie yeah. screen at the time." Yeah, I remember it came out like during a holiday week or a holiday weekend or some shit, and so it was like all whole family went and saw this show, and it was fire. Yeah, yeah. What about you, Tom? Yeah, I mean, you know, definitely up there, top five best sequel. Of all time, it would be, you know, my opinion. Um, and for 1991, we had never seen graphics like that before. You know, like, yeah, crazy. Effects. like it was crazy what they did. And, and you know, to see John Carter, who, who Connor, who we, you know, they were protecting in the first movie, but of course, we never saw because he was in the womb. 
Um, maybe, <laughs> but uh, it, it was good. The way they tied the story together, you know, it just it just made a lot of sense. So. Yeah, and yeah, they definitely had a bunch of classic lines. You know what I mean? The, I'll be back and all that. Yeah. And like even with like the little kid, yeah. actually they had. Cause I used to hate kid actors though, like the little still, the kid actor, the, the teen yeah. dude. Still, I mean, he was he was pretty he was good, yo. Like for the, he was good in his part, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, no, when I say I, when I say I hate kid them. actors, it's not that they're not good. I just hate no, a kid lot of them suck. Actors. No, a lot yeah. they're not good. Yeah, <laughs> I'll tell you that. I'd be like, I look at John like the attitude, but in the because in the movie, you know, he was like, you know, he said, "Hey, you can't kill people," but so. Arnold Schwarzenegger was just fucking people up, like shooting niggas in the legs or breaking yeah, their arms. Yeah. And shit, you know yeah. Uh, but you're right, Ollie. This came out July 4th, uh, July 1st, 1991. Yeah, so I remember July. it was like a holiday because we wow. went, like a, a family, we went and saw this joint. And it's definitely got one of the best scenes to me was when uh, the kid wanted to go break Linda Hamilton out the psych ward and he came and she yeah. ran. But then she turned her face and she saw Arnold Schwarzenegger. I don't know why I always her face when she saw him. Was like, him. That was it was like slow face, on there. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, you know, yeah. you know, I just remember her seeing Arnold and she was like, nah, bro. I'm like, you can see all the, the despair and everything in her face. It was like because he because no. he's trying like, to kill her. In the I mean, yeah, girl. but I know, yeah, yeah real too. Right. The way it's crazy backwards on the floor, yo. Like, yeah. <laughs> it was like real. Like, but yeah, no, it was real. crazy. Out of all the scenes in the movie, you remember, like, I just remember that because I was like, I felt her, like, I felt like, like, this yeah, is, like you said, like, it was real, shit. like, she was really scared, you know, like, she was really like, what the hell, like, no. And that's the, the, <laughs> the wonder of James Cameron because prior to that, we saw her working out, lifting herself up with one arm, muscles, so we yeah. saw this tough exterior prior to, yeah, she was doing all that with the one arm, she was doing all that, and it flipped the moment she saw him, she scared shitless. That's why that scene is so powerful because it was such a dynamic contrast for what we just saw a scene ago. So that's that's just James Cameron, man, doing such a fantastic job. But this movie was the shit, yo. I mean, yeah, yeah. through and through. It ain't nothing about this movie I don't like. Um, yeah, yeah. You, go ahead, Ali. You saw something? No, uh, well, I'm just yeah, you do, uh, I trust the same thing. Go ahead. Yeah. 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 Uh, man, shout out to B-Dubs, man. Thank you, man, for this Five dollar donation. I appreciate that. So, um, uh, B Dub says I worked in the movie theater on MLK Day when everyone off work and school. We showed Malcolm X for half price. Lines around the building twice. Yo, wow. Uh, Malcolm X was, <laughs> yo, Denzel bodied that that movie. Yo. Oh my god, you know what I'm saying it gave me a lot of insight to Malcolm X. I mean, obviously we knew who Malcolm X growing up was, but like. Movies kind of give us history, whether it's like mm -hmm. you know a lot of poetic licenses take place with, it, like by taking a look, might embellish a little bit, but the whole gist of the movie gave you context of somebody's life, and this yeah. is one of those movies Spike Lee did that. Yo, know, this shit was a memorable mo movie. Yo. It was a sad movie too. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, yeah. But um, gives a lot of background to Malcolm X. Yo, I would agree Shout with that, man. Giselle. Because I. I, I, you know, I wore a Malcolm X shirt at the time because I was young, not really understanding everything about Malcolm X other than just certain things. But this movie really opened my mind up to more about the man of Malcolm X. And uh, it was a sad movie, man, but it was a great movie to really enlighten us on what he really was about, man. And Denzel killed it in this role. Should have got nominated, but didn't. But yeah, this movie he was, was fantastic. Too, he was, yeah, he should have, man. And then shut it down. B Dubs came back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, guess what? Man. Man. Yeah, yeah, man. 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 We'll, we'll jump to any year you want to. You know what? But that doesn't negate nothing what y'all said. Everything y'all said was true facts. You know what I mean? Both of y'all, yeah. everything yeah. both of y'all said was true facts. And shout out to B Dubs, man. We definitely appreciate the, you know what I mean? The, the, the donation uh, and helps keep the channel going for real, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, we're talking about Malcolm X. Um, another big movie that year, uh, Silence of the Lambs. I mean, look, Hannibal Lecter, that, that was huge. The Silence of the Lambs. I mean, I, I I can't say much about that movie, man. We got uh uh what's her name in this? Uh uh Hannibal Jody and Foster. Jody Foster. Yeah, we were just talking about Jody Foster not too long ago. 
So Jodie Foster was in this. She's an FBI trainee. She's trying to capture the serial killer Buffalo Bill with the help of Hannibal Lecter. And this dude was creepy as shit. I mean, it's can't even look at him right now. Could you imagine this guy looking at you from across the cell? But she did it. And um, this was a big time movie, man. I love this movie. The fun there's a fun fact about this movie. Hannibal Lecter is in this film a total of uh, 13 minutes. 13 minutes. Oh, damn. The first one. The, Ooh, the yeah. first one, yeah, it's it's like less than fifteen minutes. Yeah, I'm not sure to yeah. he made that no, much of an impact. Though. That's how yeah, good he was. Did. My bad, I just fucked up because I was thinking about when she went to jail. Yo, know, like dude was like, did somebody like throw some shit yeah. on there? Yeah, he threw <laughs> some jizz on her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When she was walking down the cell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they was wild. That was, they was wild down there. <laughs> But that was the, that was, yeah. the worst. The worst. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you know what? We want to break this into the script. Yeah, like, just be ready, ready for it. I guess he was down there with the worst of the worst. You know what I mean? So, yeah. uh, when Hannibal Lecter was the man, though, he's the way he's top class. Yeah. If you haven't ever seen, uh, check out the movie Manhunter, which is like the prequel, mm -hmm. The Silence of the Lambs. Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's called, it's called Manhunter. It's pretty good. Oh, I thought that was like the. Uh, the dragon one, isn't it? Well, that red is red dragon. Red dragon is a remake. Yeah, red dragon, of, yeah, red dragon is a remake of the movie uh, mm. Manhunter. Oh, okay. okay. They so actually followed it pretty closely too. They oh, okay. added a couple of things, but uh, they followed it pretty closely. Because I've seen. And then, the of dragon, course, it's, it's, de Manhunter. it's definitely got some classic lines in uh, this joint. Like, what was with your boy the crazy? He's like. Puts the lotion on to I forgot the hell you said. Oh, so, yeah. when he had the girl down in the hole. Yeah, yeah we had down in the hole. Puts the lotion on. <laughs> and that dude was a good actor too, yo. Well, no, he he mm -hmm. well, no not Hopkins. Well, the other dude, the crazy dude. dude. Cowboy do, Bob. Yeah, wasn't it? Bill. Bill. Buffalo, I said yeah. called Cowboy Bob. Buffalo Bill. Yeah. Put him on. It's like, <laughs> Buffalo Bill was wild in that show. Yeah, he had his little dog. Like, hey. So just think, how crazy you got to be to make a suit out of skin? <laughs> out of skin, yeah. He had to be crazy. a wild. Yeah. He was dancing in the joint before he was trying to kill. Him. He was doing all oh, this, yeah. doing this in the video. I was like, yo, this dude, yo, he don't mess with him, yo. And then he's like, he puts the lotion on the skin. Oh man, it was crazy. Yo, it was crazy, she, yo. She got that dog down there. He was about to flip. She was like, he got to. Yo, he was like, she flipped out when she got that dog, yo. Like, oh. he out. <laughs> she got the dog. He was about to wow out. Yeah. This was a good movie. Good movie, well, man. It's no, it on sequels and prequels, you know. So yeah, actually, it's that's a, a good franchise. I pretty, I like all the movies in that franchise too. Like yeah, Hannibal, they, Hannibal oh, was pretty good. Hannibal was good. good. Yeah, yeah. Isn't Hannibal where he he numbed the guy? He eating his brains yeah. while he was still living. He cut off yeah. his yeah. brain and fed it to him. Oh yeah. my god! Yeah, so that was he was having them dinners at his house. Invited everybody over. They don't know what they was eating. He was like, "Oh, this shit good." He was like, ah. <laughs> "Yo, Ray, uh, Ray Liotta character." Yeah, Yo. the only thing. <laughs> Oh, this is tasty. <laughs> yeah, eat his own you, brain. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you, you can't eat at everybody's house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Especially if you lobotomize your ass. <laughs> Just say no. I don't know. Oh, man. This is funny. So we're going to skip down a little bit because we're going to go from movies to TV. One of the biggest movies at the, um, excuse me, one of the biggest TV shows at the height of it, even though it started a little earlier, but it was at its height at this time, man. This was a really big TV show. Family Matters, Thorn Urkel. Well, it was starring the family first because <laughs> it was a spinoff of uh, Perfect Strangers. Yeah. So yeah. it really starred the family first. It was supposed to be about this family, the Winslows, and their obnoxious neighbor that comes over. And this thing really turned into the Urkel show. It ain't. It wasn't even Family Matters anymore. It really became the Urkel show. So uh, I love Family Matters mostly because of Urkel. Everything else in the show was kind of boring until Urkel showed up. Um, but it was a great show. Came on TGIF Fridays. Uh, what are your thoughts about Family Matters, Tony? Yeah. Did, did Urkel ever catch, or Stefan, did he ever catch Laura? That's what. <laughs> <laughs> I believe so, yo. I stopped watching, yo. It literally I, became the I Urkel show. Stopped watching, yeah. With Harriet, it was Harriet's show. And Reginald, what's it, Reginald Vale Vale Johnson? Vale Johnson, yeah, yeah. 
Um, but the Urkel, the Urkel spinoff blew up, yo. Yeah, yeah. It became the Urkel show. It wasn't even Family Matters anymore. It became the Urkel show. Um, go ahead, Pina. You were saying something about Family Matters? Uh, I hated Family Matters, y'all. Uh, I, I mean, I like Urkel because <laughs> it's high jinx, but I hated no, that you show. Didn't hate, you, you're right, yo. You did hate 1991. It was, 1991, it was not a good year for me, you hate everything about 1991. <laughs> I ain't like I the hate. jeans. I ain't like the music. I ain't like the shows. Yeah, well, I would like say this Urkel, though. though, right? Urkel. No, I like I like Urkel. I mean, like I ain't gonna say I, I hated the show, but it has some funny parts. Just like a lot of shit, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of shows mm-hmm. after that episode, but I just learned a fun fact, like last week or so. So you remember when in the Family Matters there was an episode where they, Urkel made a robot? Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Robot and break dancing uh-huh. all that shit. Y'all yeah. know who was in the suit? Urkel, motherfucker, Turbo. Uh, from breaking, from yo. breaking? Wow. are you for real? Oh, That's the crazy, there, yo. Damn, get out of here! Work, Turbo yo. from breaking the was Urkel in the suit. Bot, the Urkel bot was Turbo from breaking. Oh wow! That's, that, that's crazy, man. Yeah, Turbo, Turbo, Turbo and Urkel Ozone. Box. Yes. yes. <laughs> Wait, I, got yeah, yeah. I got another fun fact. The yeah. youngest daughter got a couple porn scenes. <laughs> Yeah, when the fans never came back, and you know, I was know why. Yeah, when the, resid- the residuals go away, allegedly, they, 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 uh, allegedly. They, they, they disappeared. So what's the porn called? She was, she was, she was, she was, won't she like there? Then, then one second she won't. Like she yeah, was like there. Yeah, she won't uh, stand up. Girl back. from from Family Matters porn, you'll find it. <laughs> yeah, it's out there. Unless you're in Texas, yo, that's just bad. And maybe in Virginia too. We gotta show your ID. Don't give me your ID though. Oh really? What? You do that? I don't know. Yeah, oh. you know, because you tried it, yo. I'm not in Virginia, <laughs> fellas. So I'm fine. You oh, wanted, you wanted the red yeah, we'll save it on, your, on your hard drive. I was gonna say it don't matter. I got VPNs, man. <laughs> VPN for the win. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but shout yeah for for real. Family matters. <clears throat> I'm almost with Phenom on this show. I used to watch Family Matters. It's crazy because I watched a lot of episodes. I don't mm-hmm. think I really liked it, though. I just think I just watched them because they were orange. And I mean, I Urkel was funny some of the times, but for real, like, it wasn't a funny show. Like, I'm trying to think about, like, really, it ain't no more, like, funny parts. You know who I used to hate? Everybody was there. serious on the show except Urkel. He was the yeah. only levity that they had on the show. So, and he had to go over the top because Waldo, everybody Waldo was so serious. Was but he was probably like the second person people like, even though he was just like an idiot. But <laughs> talking about uh, child actors, like I hate to do a little light skin kid with the uh, shag. Oh, Richie, so with yeah. the, I was like, yo, please. Just, oh, why, yeah, why did they just man. kill him, yo? He should die. He should die in the fire at the. Uh, can y'all can y'all tell me where he came from? That's going to be right now. Yeah, they should have just killed them all off. Where did he come from? Uh, he was uh, the the aunt's uh, son, illegitimate yeah. son. Yeah, we said Ill- was- So was was she? Because I think Thelma Harper was her Thelma. No, not Thelma. Yeah, that's Thelma, all right. Something like whatever her real name is. But yeah, was she, she on was the show from the down. beginning, or did she, she come was on? Always on. Then she was what did, always on. And she, she worked in the diner. Mm. And when did the kid get introduced? Yeah. like she moved in was- with him. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, like so she, she was staying out, and then when she came moving in with them, she had a kid with them that we got introduced to. Yeah, yeah, that's why Thelma Hopkins. That's like that. <laughs> it, I don't even know why they had him on the show, honestly. I and mean, guess what, Corey? The more you talk, more I talk, the more you realize the show was stupid as fuck, yo. Yeah, I'm <laughs> <saying>. <laughs> <laughs> I, I cannot lie. I mean, it was it was a, not a great show. It was not a great show. Uh, Chicago Cubs TGI Friday night shows with Family Matters. Step by step, yeah, and perfect strangers, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Shout, shout out to ba- shout out to Balky and them, yeah. and like someone mentioned before, this was a garbage before. It was the the spinoff off of Perfect Strangers. She was the motherfucking uh, elevator lady. Like, how's that a job? Yeah, you know? that was just back in the day, y'all. Like, even like in Jersey, you can't pump your own gas in Jersey. Y'all, you supposed to you have gas at tennis. Oh, yeah, but um, but we got a whole. Go check out our channel if you click on the live channel. You'll see it recorded. We did the TGI Friday. We talked about yeah, we all the shows on that. It was hella fun, yo. A lot of lot of me- trips down memory lane on that one, yo. Yeah. Um, um, 
Eric says, uh, DuckTales, Gummy Bears, and Pirates of Dark Water. I was not a fan of Pirates of Dark Water. I did not like those puppet things. I didn't like it, but I was a big fan of DuckTales and the Gummy Bears. I, I was that all over that. I didn't know what that is, so. I'm Pirates of Dark up. Water. It's yeah, very similar to Labyrinth. Um, I didn't like, see, I didn't like Labyrinth, so I, I wasn't into that. Shut but. your mouth, Corey. That's one of my favorite movies. Bro. Oh, maybe it was Dark Crystal. I thought it was called Dark, no, oh. Dark Crystal. The Pirates yeah, of Dark Water was a cartoon. It's like, yeah, like I don't remember Dark Crystal. Shit. I remember my Dark Pirates of Dark Water. My bad, my bad, my bad. All right, so let's go. We went from, we're going from one word, one nerd to another, man. One word to another. So in 1991, unfortunately, my man Pee Wee Herman, my man Pee Wee Herman got caught <laughs> masturbating. I mean, he, Paul Rubin got busted. Masturbating. In quotes. He got busted masturbating in an adult movie theater. Um, look, I mean, who did not hear about this? But I always wondered why did he not go use a VCR? Why did he have to go to the movie theater and do this? I have no idea. But it's a shame, man. It's a shame. And where was John B. at to give him his three wishes? So he uh, went, I don't know. You, know, he got, me. you said he got busted. He definitely busted. <laughs> All right, people. Yeah. What you I mean, say, I feel bad making all the jokes. I forgot he died. He did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he got busted. So you know, he got busted and arrested. There's his mugshot there. And uh, I mean, shout out to That's Paul good. Rubin, though, man. Classic. I mean, who who didn't watch Pee Wee's Playhouse or Pee Wee's Big Adventure? But this was yeah. some funny shit that I, went down. How was that an odd thing, though? You know, like we talking about. Place where you go watch adult movies, you know? Yeah, like, like, like never happened, dude. <laughs> that's what I can understand. Like, he's in a adult like movie theater. A restaurant and not yeah. being able to be handing out large socks, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I don't even, uh, I, get, I mean, I've never, I've never been to one of these places, but I just thought that's why you go there to do whatever you did, you don't do. Like, that was the purpose exactly. It's an adult it. movie theater. Yeah. My question is, who was the person that spotted him? Like, why aren't they paying attention to the movie? <laughs> what are you doing that you got to pay attention to him in order to call the cops? And, it's just... and get offended. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, how you get offended? In a... No, you and then that's like saying, hey, here's this five-course meal in front of you. You can't eat it, though. You know what I'm <laughs> you and there sitting there watching an adult, but the cop had to arrest him, yo. Did he wash his hands before he arrested him? Yo? I don't know. Somebody has to put a cup on it. <laughs> um, that's crazy. That's crazy. But yeah, you know, Herman, I think he shaped our life, though. You know what I'm saying? I think uh, absolutely. Yeah, it's crazy. PB's Everybody watched it for how. me. I love Pee Wee's Big Adventure. I love yeah. Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Yeah, Big, Big Adventure is definitely one of the greatest movies ever for me. You know, you yeah. know, Big yeah. Marge. Was it Big Marge? Marge, 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 that's just but, scary. Yeah, yeah. When you turn yeah, around, Pee yeah, yeah. Pee Wee's Big Adventure. You got a couple of girlfriends in the movies too, yo. Like Pee Wee yeah. was, was the man in the movies. Yeah, he did, yeah. And, and he had a guy after him too. Oh yeah, when he was attacking, he got to Texas. He was running yeah, the, the guy, yeah, or the whatever. Guy, yeah, yeah, the crazy the thief, dude, the, the, the burglar, or whatever, the criminal. Yeah, yeah. yeah Pee Wee, yeah. Pee Wee was doing his thing, man. I mean, I love that movie. I watched that movie so much show i mean i practically knew almost every line don't know every line now but the movie still holds up and um yeah forgot who yeah. directed it it was directed by um oh the same guy that did that tim burton tim burton directed it <laughs> never knew that never do that oh either. for real that's crazy tim burton yeah tim that's burton true. that actually makes sense yeah tim burton directed Pee Wee herman's big adventure yo which is crazy i got a so, question for y'all how many times yeah. y'all set up uh like a little booby trap maze in your house, yo? Remember at the beginning of the movie, he had the little ball oh, all going up, all that stuff going around there, and Man, made his breakfast great. for him, yo. Yeah, yeah. Never I had a black mama. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was saying, yeah, that was, that was something I didn't experience. Cannot lie to you. I'm sorry. Yeah, greatest movie it's ever, not, man. Really. Yeah, and then uh, he he had a little run later on in life. You know what I mean? Uh, Somebody posted this. Is, God, I hate having to go between the two, man. But he was a big mystery man, yo. Yep. I used to like that shit, yo. Mystery Man was a, a good movie on the low, man. Yeah, that was a good movie, movie. yeah. His, his name was like the, 
the spleen or something because he used to fart every time you pull his That's finger. That's what it was. Was it the spleen? They, they the sphinx. Split. Okay. I thought it was the spleen, but I guess it was the it might, okay. No, it might, I think it might have been the spleen, honestly, once you said that. Yeah, that was funny. Mystery man. He also he was in uh, Gotham. Too, he was in Gotham. Remember. Like the uh, you ever watched Gotham, Corey? Gotham? Um, no, no. You've, you've never watched Gotham. Gotham. So, somebody who is super duper in the comics. You've never watched Gotham, yo. I I know of Gotham. I probably watched a few episodes, but I didn't have cable. <laughs> it, was, it came on Fox, yo. And it, it just stopped last. That's, that's my line I use when I don't I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I'm my bad, yo. I, yeah, he I played didn't, the I didn't have TV. Bad in it, yo. It was good. <laughs> Gotham wow. was on in like 2015. What? Yeah, it was like, yeah. oh, right, you didn't even have like the yeah, it was on, yeah, it was on Fox. I watched the first yeah. season of it. It wasn't bad, but I just couldn't keep up with it. No, it wasn't bad at all, actually. It wasn't bad. I just, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I didn't get around to it. You know, I just, yeah. I ain't had TV. I want to give a shout out to uh, Karen. She said, Lawrence Fitzburn was caught cowboy cow. Yeah, yeah he was. was. Yeah, yeah, you know, that's so, a. Especially, you know, because if you look go back to early in the episode, he was in Boys in the Hood. Well, he was the daddy yeah. of Boys in the Hood. Like, that's a hell of right. a range, yeah. yo. He went for Boys in the Hood. Yo. He could do Boys in the Hood, <laughs> Cowboy Call. Like, that's a <laughs> motherfucking range. I, if I don't know what range is, that is, that's Steph Curry range. That's yeah. a hell of a range, man, because yeah. I didn't even know he was Cowboy Call until later on in the years. But he was, man. Man, Lawrence Finsburg, yeah. he's been in the game because he was in his yeah. own core rare Earl and me. That Apocalypse oh, Now. Yes, you're right. Back in the day. He was, um, he was a kid. Yeah, he was a kid. Yeah, as yeah. a kid actor. Mm -hmm. But you know what? I think since we're talking about Pee Wee Herman in adult entertainment, we're going to go to the hotties of 1991, man. Going to the hotties of 1991. And here we go. How is the 19 one from going from left to right, man? We got Pamela Anderson, of course, from Baywatch. Miss Supermodel herself, man, Naomi Campbell, and China Phillips from Wilson Phillips, man. Um, these are the top three highs of 1991. I don't know if P.B. Herman was looking at it when he was watching the film, but I'm sure a lot of people had a good moments with these hotties, man. But, yeah, definitely I can agree with this, man. These are the highs of 1991, definitely. I mean, Baywatch was huge. And Naomi Campbell was on top, and uh, Wilson Phillips, she was the best looking one out the crew. <laughs> <laughs> I had what no idea. You said this. I had no idea who she was, fuck she was. You know? China Phillips? Yeah, no idea. Yeah. Wilson Phillips, she one of the singers. Yeah, yeah. We, we talked about it on a couple lines ago. So yeah, yeah. Because yeah. then, then I saw, I was like, oh, I was like, why she, she in a picture with Ricky Lake in the, like, the, the joints from yeah. before? Like, I had no I still don't know who she is. Yeah, and and then we got a uh, we got a song chick from Basic Instinct. <laughs> oh, Sharon Stone. Oh, Sharon Stone. Stone. Yeah, she <laughs> kind of she kind of looks like Sarah Stone. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, her, her, ways, no. uh, Wilson Phillips, like that, that shorty. She uh, her parents was in the Mama and the Papas. We got a song on the channel California Dreaming. I don't know if you remember Corey. Don't remember that shit. But nah, uh, okay, I do that. Yeah, yeah. Mama and Papas. This is a big. This is a big joint on our channel. Yeah, it, that was a good song. California Dreaming. Yeah. Oh, Cal, Cal, I don't remember that. I, they I got, they sell that. memory pills or some shit. You don't remember nothing. We do. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, shout out to uh, sixty sixty song. Shout out to Pamela Anderson, you know, doing her thing, and shout out to uh, the motherfucking no Naomi Campbell. Naomi Campbell, Naomi yeah. Campbell yeah. She's definitely one of the first uh, supermodels on the scene. Well, that's like when yeah. supermodels was like blowing up. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, there was always models or supermodels before, but like during that and, time, and, it was and like a black supermodel was, at that. I mean, yeah, we didn't was, have a, a black supermodel on that level at the time. It was when she was blowing up. So uh, when, when yeah. they were blowing up, and she definitely was at the forefront of that. But you know, uh, Pamela Anderson, you know, shout out to Bob Wire, great movie, classic. Should have won an Oscar. Not, not, not a great movie, but you know, <laughs> she had all tight spandex. <laughs> Don't be hating, man. You, know, no. you sound like a real hater right now, yo. Oh, no, it she, was a dumb movie. She had a lot of range in that movie, yo. Like Which movie y'all talking about? Bob Wire. That shit was like, like she had, HBO. She had, she, had, she, had, she, had shoot, about. she had shoot guns and talk. Say a little quick, little ha-ha. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. A lot of spandex in it. A lot of spandex. I mean, like, I'm gonna hey, was she one of the first one that was in a celebrity uh Leak tapes. 
Oh, her you know time what? Yeah, yeah, I was, she was, she, yeah, you're she right. Was. You, you, you're right. That's what I heard. Because this is before movie. Kim Card. This is before the internet even blew yeah. up for real, for real. You know, you you might be she right, yo. Yeah. They she got a whole first, documentary like, on that. Star. I think FX did like a, 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 Not a documentary. It's a movie. They did, did the movie. Was it a movie? That, oh, it was a movie. TV they did a TV show about it. it I think they did both of them because I right. saw it, it was a documentary, but then they did a movie. I see. It was because it's like somebody famous Hulu behind did a, it. Hulu did a TV series starring. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It was uh, a TV Hulu. series. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't well, a, movie, a documentary. Winter Soldier. It was, a, it was a TV series. But they have a, a documentary about it that came out, I think like TNT or some shit like that, where they, they showed who leaked the tape and all that, because it was stolen and all that stuff. And, and leaked oh, to really? the press. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that was a crazy sex, sex tape. I think everybody's seen it. I haven't seen tape. it. Except I want to try to find it. <laughs> if you can find it online, I mean, you can probably find anything online, but a lot of that stuff got taken down. I'm gonna try to find it, man. Yeah. It's probably wack, um, It's probably wack. Well, fuck that, yo. Somebody, I gotta, I gotta give a shout out. Somebody, I gotta scroll up, yo, because one of the baddest women of 1991 that we talked about it earlier, she didn't get a shout sell, out. You're gonna <laughs> you stay on subject for a minute because you like to just run mm-hmm. off. Oh my god, run, run hold on. I, I was about to say uh, somebody else that was high in 1991. Dude, you don't yeah. run everything. Yo. I could talk, yo. I'm gonna say 1991, Neil, Neil Long, yo. Neil, Neil Long, Long. Was my crush from 1991. Holly Berry, Neil Long. Yeah, talked about boys in the hood. She was everybody's crush back in the day, yo. She's still fine to this day. You know what I'm saying? Uh, she, I mean, who was better than her in 1991, yo? Well, and I, and, 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 I mean, Naomi Campbell's pretty bad. But I'm a I mean, Long fan, so I would have been Neil Long anyway. I think Neil Long is more relatable. I mean, Naomi Campbell, Campbell's up here, but she came across as a, a roundaway girl. I think yeah, straight up, true, true that. I think true boys that. of the hood did that, yo. Yeah, true that, true that. You know what I'm saying? So like, it was uh, great. I, mean, I would say Holly Berry, Hillary Banks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's not, not, Banks. Is that ninety one? Like, is that ninety one? Uh, first Prince uh, out yet? I'm not sure. If first was I don't know. If it was First Prince out in ninety one? I think it might came out ninety three or ninety two. Yeah, so yeah. I'm not. I don't know if it was out yet. Pam but, and Gina. And it might not have been at the height. At that time, though, so you know, but you know, look, these girls definitely got it right. They got it right, but you know who went wide right? <laughs> My man, right here, man. Let's get to it. Super Bowl twenty-five, Buffalo Bills. Nine seconds left. Twenty and nine. Scott Norman, the kicker, has to kick a field goal with nine seconds left on the clock, and he goes wide right. Man, this was the first time the Buffalo Bills went to, and they have never won it since. And this was the closest that they ever came to winning it. And I feel sorry for Scott Norman, man, because this brother has never lived this down, man. Do y'all remember this game? Uh, Fina, do you remember this game? Absolutely, yo. Uh, this was the the closest score Super Bowl in history. One point. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, One point, Yeah. I think this was the first loss for the Bills. Yeah, they lost to the yep, first yeah, one. They lost to the Giants. Giants, yep. then they lost to us, and then they lost to the Cowboys twice. So they lost to all NFC. Damn, they need to stop playing NFC East teams in the Super Bowl, yo. But um, I felt bad for him. Scott Scott Norwood. Damn, mm-hmm. bro. it was it was a great yeah. game, but that's an iconic sports moment. Yeah, it, it he's never lived it down, man. I feel sorry for the brother because uh, unfortunately, man, Buffalo. They, they never let them forget it. I mean, honestly, man. Do you remember this moment? Uh, well, you remember this moment, right? Yeah. Yeah. What about you, O? Oh yeah, I remember. <laughs> of course, I remember. All, you know, I mean, you know, because it happened back to back years in the ass. So, when I, what's the back to back? Well, they they lost. They went. Row. They want. They, this was the yeah, first. Yeah, they they went row. Row. yeah, yeah. But I thought. Uh, but yeah, it, I mean, here's thought: you wear a single bar, you don't deserve to make it. That's all. Yeah, he got cut the next year. <laughs> no, if you wear a single bar, yo, you don't deserve nothing, yo. That's like when, when I played look, no, when I played Little League, it wasn't even, it was a long time ago. But look, right. if, if you play Little League and it was a motherfucker on your team that had the duck bill, that's what we used to call it. two just two bars. The duck bill. It's like yo, we ain't don't see the field, we good. Like, like <laughs> if you wear a single bar, we good, yo. 
you don't deserve to, you know, you know, I don't care if you the kick or not, yo. Just put half a face mask on, yo. Like, come on, brother. Just put at least oh, one yeah, bar down the middle. Be like the old, the old school one bar down the middle. Remember that that shit? The bars that the thick ass. Yeah, that's all the Larry's on. <laughs> yeah, yo, 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 just something, yo. Don't wear the one bar. I can't respect you because you are. No thousand was our quarterback that had one bar. Yeah, look what happened. Look what happened. Really? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I no think Ken Stabler. Ken Stabler. Ken Stabler. Kennedy the State. Yeah, he had that job. Damn. No, Brand Talkington. Yeah. Damn, you break, y'all bringing up some stuff. But yo, but that's like from the set, our 70s, early 80s. Yeah, I'm not saying, like, all the and all the and none of them went, none of them went, none of one either. But yeah. nah, but yeah, the single bar, like, yeah, I already knew he wanted to never do nothing, yo. Like, what if you fuck up a kid? You gotta tackle somebody, yo. He, and then when he, like, the bar was just like the single bar, it was like the single <laughs> bar, they were wearing that shit. That's, that shit would be like down here. It wouldn't even cross. Oh, like, yeah, you know, it wasn't it across. It pulled it down. Yeah, yeah. Pulled it up and down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Missed why that they never tackled all. anybody because they couldn't. I mean, for real. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh. I see right here. Um. Which is this is important. I mean, Chicago Bulls won the first NBA championship in 1991. That's big. So yeah, this. I mean, this is starting to. I mean, this. Uh. You know, prior to this, he was going against the dynasty. Yeah, but this yeah. is the start of the dynasty right here. This is when they won three in a row. Then, of course, Mike retires, and then they win three more in a row. So, yeah, this is the start of the dynasty, man. Do y'all guys remember this? And uh, we'll go with the question, who you think better, LeBron or Mike? <laughs> man, really? I know it's not a question. It's Mike. It's, it's Mike. Question, yo, really. um, let's, let's kick it over to our resident Bull fan, yo. What, what's your thoughts ahead, on Don. winning that first championship, bro? Greatest Bull of all time. Derrick Rose, no, I'm just playing. <laughs> MJ, him say, fade away perfect. Without a doubt, yo, that's yeah. that's my king. Yeah. They, uh, Were you excited when no, they won their no championship? <laughs> oh, hell yeah, especially since they beat the Lakers. And, like, everybody <laughs> at our school like the Lakers. Yeah. So, shoot, the guy we thought was my dad, he liked the Lakers. So, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, no. <laughs> no man. Oh, no, man. Cool. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's hilarious. I'm not even going to be here. Damn. <laughs> nah, but look, nah. we just went the mental therapy part of the, <laughs> part of the <laughs> So let me ask this, Ollie. But, but no, 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 no! Tony Edwards, yo, fuck that nigga. But I'm gonna say, fuck MJ too. Yo. You know, I'm, a I'm, I'm a Pistons fan. That's what I was about to ask you. I said, how does the how does that make you feel being a Pistons fan, Ollie? That he kind of deep throwing. Yeah, because he. I mean, yeah, it is what it is, yo. Fuck him, yo. Fuck all them. You know, he got he got a lot of calls and this and that. But we, it is what it is. I mean, I'm not upset being the Pistons fan. Shit, we got we got championships. We got more rings and. 90 whatever percent of the league, so I'm good where we at, you know what I mean? But it's definitely a change of error, error, you know. I can't lie on that as far as like Michael Jordan was the man, you know. Like, as much as I hated him, I, I like, well, you know, me, I can't help but watch him. I like them on, on the low, yo. I just can't tell nobody. <laughs> I Fuck think that's Lord. how a lot of people felt, yo. I like Jordan is like number fours, yo. Go. Come down there on you with them number fours on. What's your, yeah, what's your favorite pair of Jordans? I think mine are number threes, the one with the, I don't know, I can't describe them, but they got like, it looks like a strap coming up on the top. They got like the net on the side, look like, That's I don't know. Those number five. Those number fives? Oh, you the net oh, on the with, yeah, you said with five, the strap. Yeah. With the strap is eight. Straps are eight. But they don't go all the way across. They just come up the side and stop right at the where you tie your shoelace. But the net so on the that's, side. That's number four, then. That's eight. Oh, the four, yeah. the four is my favorite. Yeah, the four is, yeah. yeah four is I mean, I, I like the I like the elevens. I think the elevens are part of my favorite silhouette. Eleven and the threes. Um, but yo, I think I got to echo what Ali said. Yo, I hated Jordan because everybody loved Jordan, but. I love Jordan now. You know what I'm saying? Like I go back, yeah. I argue with anybody. I would cape for Jordan till I die, yo, because he's probably the best competitor on the court. Uh, like I just like his work ethic. He just made dope highlights, and he made he willed his team to win all the time. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think watching the Last Dance, even though it was like a, a Jordan Puff piece, 
I really like the yoga. I think a lot of truth was in what he was talking about, even though people was hating on him. Um, Jordan was, I mean, he carried the league, yo. Like when Magic and Bird passed the torch. Yeah. No, he, it was in I good hands. This shit, like, I, me personally, I think the person who looked the worst in the, in the last dance was Jordan. Like, he looked like yeah, a complete yeah. utter yeah, yeah, asshole. Yeah, yeah. Asshole. Yeah. 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 Anybody that knew, like, like we already knew he was this asshole, but the world found out, I guess. But I, he looked worse than I think he made his teammates look. Yeah. I mean, I, I didn't say he he looked worse. I just didn't. I I like this drive, yo. I think he made everybody better, even though he rubbed people the wrong no, way. No, I mean it could be it's it could be both. Like it's it both things. Like like he, yeah, like he made him. He made. I mean, he didn't look good, but on top of that, I mean, we. I mean, he's definitely the driving factor. I mean, most championship teams, you don't have one person to be the driving factor, and it just so happened on this team, it was the best player. And <laughs> the game was a driving factor because a lot of times, so the driving, how can I say, not in the game, but like off the court, the driving factor, it's like you have veterans in, in your locker room, whatever, whatever. They may not be the best player, but you'll yeah. follow their lead. No, everybody's gonna follow George's lead because George will be like, yo, fuck you, like, you suck, get him out yeah. of here, or you this, yeah. like, you know what I mean? Because he, you can, be, you can be like, oh, yo, he was out all night gambling. Guess what? He don't come in here. He don't drop his 30. Boy. Play D. He don't yeah. do everything. It's not even just offensive end. It was the defensive end, too. So, uh, I mean, shout out to, to Jordan, yo. I mean, can you help it, yo? Yeah. I mean, I guess. Yeah, I, I got to shout out to Jordan, too. I mean, mm-hmm. it's it's very rare that you have somebody that's just as effective offensively as he is defensively. I mean, he, he got one year that I think he won both. He won defense player of the year and the MVP for that year. And that's phenomenal. Mm-hmm. And he did it as a guard. That don't really happen that often. You know, most of the time a big man's winning the award as far as defensive player of the year. And he was doing it at a time period where the big man ruled the game. So you, you got to give it up for George, man. I mean, I, I think, yeah. uh, I mean, it's really a hard debate when it comes to who's better, LeBron or Jordan. I think they just mm-hmm. in two different lanes. I think I, I could give it to LeBron as far as his longevity, because when I look at George's year 15 or it ain't the same like LeBron's year 15. LeBron still is the top five, top six, seven player in the league. By the time Jordan got to year 15, he was not even close. So the longevity LeBron definitely got on him. But the that impact that Jordan had when he was hot, you take peak Jordan against peak LeBron, I'm going to go for Jordan every time. Yeah, yeah, I don't like that. A lot of whole I, problematic I, statements you made there, Corey. But I don't even like that. I don't like that argument just because I mean the medicine is different. Uh, everything is different. different. Like yeah, they're two, they're two different lanes. Like you can be like the, you can't compare the two. this the like, whatever. Michael Jordan played more fucking like eighty games when he was forty years old. <laughs> like yeah, LeBron can't ain't play eighty games in like how many years? Like you That's know what I mean? Miami, like, I think. Like, you know, everybody's like, you know, Jordan sucked in the Wizards. Yeah, I mean, because it just wasn't Jordan. But he averaged 20 and whatever, like, and played 80 30. games. And he was 40 and he was forty years old. Like, come on, you know, that, I, I hate that argument. I'm like, yo, LeBron often played 60, 55 games, 65 games a year, yo. Like, come on, yo. And he going to Germany getting all the same shit Kobe got. You know what I mean? Like the blood, the blood spinning. <laughs> yeah. I mean, LeBron, uh, you know, Brown went away in Miami, yo, came back Superman, yo. Like, everybody know what he's doing. Everybody, come on, yo. All, all the leagues doing it, though. Something to hate on them. But, yeah, it is what it is, yo. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I, I mean you're right. Anything, oh, go ahead. No, you're right, Ollie. I'm going to echo because, like, the medicine is different. The travel is different. Yeah. The diet is different. It's a whole bunch of things. Like, LeBron spends millions of dollars on his body a year. And plus, you know, LeBron's at the point where he's looking for somebody to be the man on the team so he can take a step back. He can play till another five years because if Anthony Davis step up, if they yeah. surround him with young boys that can ball, he still can just do his thing. Like so, I'm not saying like yeah. LeBron's not one of the top five players ever. I think he is. Um, if I was starting a team, it would be Jordan and LeBron would be my starters on it. Um, I just think Jordan is just a different type of dog, yo. I think he went through an era that. when they were playing, they were playing jail ball, yo. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, and the only that. time he really missed any games is when he broke his ankle, like in the in the eighties. Other than that, he was an Iron Man himself. You know what I'm saying? And he that made Scotty, he made Scotty Pippen a household name, Steve Kerr, Luke Longley, Tony Kukos, all them players. 
And really, but they should have had minute. eight championships. Those players were already good, though. No, you could be good, true. but he takes him to the another level, yo. Tony Kukoc mm-hmm. was the MJ of Europe. He just came over. I mean, so but look, I'm but not going to argue that. Yes, they should have eight elevate anybody's right. team because he made Bill Cartwright look good, and we know how shitty he was the center. <laughs> so, yeah. They had three centers, though. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, like yeah, when Jordan stepped out, win. Pippen had his chance to to lead the team, and guess what? He signed. He on the did bench when he play. left. Yeah, My Tony Kukoc hit a three. I guess and he was mad at that shit too. Yeah, man. Jordan would Tony Kukoc's you know. good. He was he's a fucking yeah. star. He was, he was good. He was good. Well, look, man, this is this has been a great show, man. In 1991, um, I will I will end it uh, just really quick. Just one last thing that came out in 1991. It was a big thing. Uh, we'll go here just to let y'all know. Roller Blades came out in 1991, and this family <laughs> was one of many families that took a Saturday afternoon to go road and blade just because it was the thing to do, man. Just because it was the thing to do. Like, yeah, seriously. No, I, I thought you had that luxury on, uh, on on Super Nintendo, yo. Super Nintendo dropped in 1991, yo. Wow. You dropped also yeah. some exercises. Wow. Yeah. Go ahead, yeah, go ahead and say this because I can't keep this big guy's picture of his family right here. It's, it's, Man, yeah, look, I'm about to give you another one. Yeah, yo. give you another one just for that. I heard somebody say, um, <laughs> my, my mind's playing tricks on me, dropped in 91, too. Give you that. Well, that's oh, damn. Oh, there it goes. Like, honestly, my mind's playing trick on, tricks on you. It's wild. Yo, wow. Because when that song right came out, I could remember being on a kid on the bus. Wow. And, that's every, a dope and everybody like rapping that song like together. Like, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? Oh. That's like Bushman Bill's part. It was like, yo, Bushman Bill's the best birthday <laughs> ever. Yeah. This year, Halloween fell on a weekend. Yeah. Me and yeah, Ghetto Boys yeah, took a treat. Yeah. <laughs> ah, that's one of the that. most like descriptive, yes, like story visual. Like, you could really see it, yo. Yeah, yeah. From, from their perspective, yo, like I think that's a hip hop top five song of all time. I, 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 I was about like to say five, to six, it. yeah, somewhere in that area. Because Bushwick had the, the memorable verse because it was just like a great story, like especially at the end, like when he was like, Yeah, hey, the end is the end. Like, like, he wanted yeah. in there. But for real, Scarface versus on that shit. I mean, of course, it's Scarface. Scarface so verse like, is great. Oh, his, oh, his second verse is like, like everybody <laughs> there, find it possible to cope. Yo, yeah, like, everybody's it, it, dope. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's Scarface versus on this. Can't keep it steady Crazy. hand because I'm nervous. Every Sunday morning, I'm in service, praying for yeah. forgiveness, trying to find an exit out of the business. I mean, look, that's that's it. Yeah, it's so, crazy, yo. Face should be in your top ten, yo. Face should be. Oh, face. Oh, face. No, yeah, we gotta have a, we gotta have a discussion. Yeah, that's a whole nother. <laughs> yeah, that's another, another episode. That's a whole nother three hour episode right there, man. But look, has anybody got anything else to say about 1991 before we close this out, man? I think we we are good. I mean, uh, you yeah. know, I do like to give a shout out to everybody in the yeah, chat. I mean, you guys, yes, yeah, it's, it's a whole lot of that's them some great things, man. Uh, Chicago Gubs, Jabbar cool. Robbins, uh, MCAP, uh, man, the list goes on and on. Um, Eric, but, thank you. No, hey, don't drop. You said just because you said his name, you're all oh, damn. See. I'm on the other shit. But Jabbar Roberts brought up House Party 2, yo. We yeah. don't talk about that. Yeah. House Party 2? Man, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you like, ooh, House Party 2? For real? I like, yeah. I like House We're Party. Talking, that's but a pajama jam. It's a pajama party? Pajama jam jam. <laughs> oh, yeah. It ain't, it ain't as good as House Party 1, though, man. It's not going to be. But this was still a solid movie. Yeah, it's not. But it's I good. ain't really like it, man. I, I give that like, movie a C. Like? I give that movie a C-. minus. C minus, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's how that I give. Like, that's that's what I'm at. Like about C minus, so yeah. C-. It ain't it ain't like that, you know. It ain't gonna be. It, if it, to me, it didn't make party. sense. Like the 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 fact of throwing the party just felt like it was forced. It wasn't organic. Like in the first movie, it was organic. His parents yeah. left. He trying to throw a party on the night his parents are out. This come on, man. How you gonna throw a party in the cafeteria of school and had a whole school? I mean, it just. It made no sense. It just Hold made no sense. Martin and them sworn. standing in the dorm room with him. Sure we did that. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Uh, we were <laughs> in, in the cafeteria. This but was, it, this was, was a different, yo. They had a stage with people performing. Come on now. I'm pretty sure we did that. That's too big, too big though. They had, <laughs> it was too big. It should have been in like a, a frat house or something. 
That yeah. would have been more realistic. Yeah, that would be realistic. You mean like 40 exactly. seconds? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. That would have been more realistic. My that would have been more street. realistic. You know, if budget, you stay budget got bigger. Out. You know what I'm saying? Huh? The budget Real got street. bigger for the movie. So That's always... Always, oh, and one, one yeah, other and joke, we, we definitely got to get a Chicago Cubs do down a, uh, but okay. you know, Jerry Springer wasn't the Jerry Springer we know in 91. It yeah. was different in 91. Wow. It was different, but by the time, by the time I saw watching about 95, 96, yeah, 97, 95, 96. Oh my God, that shit was crazy, yo. Uh, Fist Jerry was on top, man, 95, 96. Fist Cubs everywhere. Oh yeah. shit. Did, did this really happen? Somebody in fact check. It's Did the internet way. start in 1991 for real? Oh no, I ain't Yeah, it might have been. Uh, yeah, WWW shot Al Gore. Yo, he invented that shit. He, he said <laughs> he did. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, if no. that really started, then damn. Oh, uh, great! Oh, that's one of my movies, y'all. Yes, with uh, Patrick President. Swayze and Keanu Reeves. Yeah. Uh, oh. So, did Patrick Swayze really die at the end? He let him get one more surf at the end. Yeah, <laughs> I did. Yeah, he did. Yeah. <laughs> Just let me uh, get one more big one. One yeah. more wave. <laughs> but when they we did them, they them they doing the bank robberies with the masks and shit, I was like, yeah, yeah, that's the shit was fire, yo. The yeah, the presidents, yeah. yeah, that shit was fire. With the president yeah. mask, yeah, yeah, yeah it's good. definitely yeah. fire. It's definitely fire. So yeah, R.I.P. the fastest yeah. way, man. Yeah, shout out to everyone. It's like a whole bunch of honestly, it's like a whole lot. I can't, I, I can't keep scrolls. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I know. We we got another one. I mean, uh, yo, shout yeah, out to be dubs, yo, be dubs, man. Yeah, B does. Yeah, uh, uh, last one here. Uh, Jeffrey Dahmer shook the whole shook the hell out of America. I didn't know that was the year of that big thing going on. Man, that was ninety one. That was ninety one. Wow, I didn't yeah. know that either. Yeah, I started to watch that Netflix special. And I just quit, yo. It's good. Yeah, I couldn't. Me, me, I couldn't, I couldn't not, it's, 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 it's disturbing. disturbing. Yeah, it's yeah. Too, it was too disturbing. Yeah, I watch. Yeah. I watch a lot of horror movies, but that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just couldn't. The best no, ones are the ones that's I, real. I, I watched my hunters too, but for some, I just can't, I couldn't get into it, man. The Jeff and mm-hmm. Dominic joint. Yeah. Nah, it wasn't I even mean, that it was bad. It's just, I don't know. Something about it just won't be. That's all. Yeah. All right. Well, look. Oh, um, somebody oh. said this. Carrie. Wow. Boy, Povich started too. Break out of the DNA, yo. And I'm sure he won't do it at 91. He won't do it at first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to see. I want to see what. I wish we could interview Maury Povich in 1991 and see what his thoughts are. Like, just be like, yo, well, what yeah. about this? What about that? And then to show him, like, where he going to end up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. This is what your show is going to be in five years. <laughs> DNA test. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure he thought it was gonna be like a ser- it was like a nice serious show. We doing serious topics, like we don't have real discussions, people. We're gonna change yeah. the world. We're I'll tell you where it came. Eyes. MCAP said it's Morton, a great show, Morton Downey show. If y'all remember Morton Downey, he was like a like a o- over the top. He used to yell at it. He used to have fights. Yeah, I remember Morton Downey. Downey. Yeah, Morton I Downey had a show. And that was the original people fighting, and he had like clan members and black people up there. Yeah, he was yeah. I that that was a raw though. Yeah, that's a yeah, that's how the a raw. And then that's just called migrating yeah. towards like you know, uh, dumb TV. Um, I think because uh, Maury Povich used to be on this show called like Inside Edition or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, he was a real journalist at first. Yeah, and he was married yeah. to Connie Chung. Connie Chung, time. yeah. And then it just started. Going down, you know, you had your Ricky Lakes, you had your uh Sally Jesse, Jessica Rock, yeah, Montel Williams, I mean, Montel yeah. Williams. Yeah, all yeah, those everybody, shows started to divulge and showing like the, the scum of the society. You know, everybody yeah. wanted to turn these tests, Damn, I forgot about everybody that. sleeping with their brother's sister and all that. shit. They was just all type of shit up there. Um, but Maury was like he just made his living off a of DNA test later. But everything it was, was it was though. it was made for TV, man. Just him pulling out that DNA test I'm and saying, cool. "You are not the father." I mean, that would made for I'm TV. I'm getting very started. Butterfly do the dance. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, like it was all the pop. Who invented running, yo? Who invented? I, I know who the first person that took off <laughs> that ran off the stage. And yeah, cameraman, that cameraman. Captain cameraman, yeah, they running with the camera, like, yeah. <laughs> like yo, and who was the cameraman? Like, yo, they was like, follow her, follow her. Yeah, 
Yeah, you know, that first one, the first time it happened, they started running like in the court, they popped out like, oh shit. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, From that point on, it was battery pack cameras. Yeah, so. yeah like, yo, like, I ain't gonna have to run all the way backstage to the green room. Like, you know, like they're trying like, yeah, after that, yo, we they hired all the cops cameramen. You know, and it's funny though because they started uh they started not showing the fights on TV no more, too. Oh, yeah. At first, yeah. you know, you already came back. Out, yo. The camera would switch and go to the audience. Yeah, yeah. because see nobody get get molly whopped on stage. Or you already knew it was coming too. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. oh yeah, I've been sleeping with Shanika. We have Shanika here, and Shanika come taking <laughs> everything out already, just start running right at him. <laughs> oh, that was Plastic. bad TV. It was so good, it was bad, yo. Yeah, it was definitely. <laughs> And then they would strategically put the chair right beside the girl. Oh yeah, that's a that's how you already knew it was a setup because they would definitely bring somebody out and sit you yeah. right next to her. Like no, that yeah. but they wouldn't say who they were at first. They just bring them out. No, we don't have uh, Keisha come out on stage. <laughs> and then they would also be like, Keisha, this is Keisha. The woman that's been sleeping with your man every night, <laughs> like, like whatever, whatever. And it looked just like, ah, like you know, it was wild, yo. Know? And you know, it's like TV, man. And, and shout no, out to Rachel's Jerry, crazy. shout out to Jerry Springer because the audience questions used to be the best. <laughs> They'd be like, yo, you have a question? She'd be like, yeah, um. Your whore. Don't ask shit. This is like yo. Yeah. Your whore. No, be no questions. <laughs> <laughs> and then they start fighting on stage again. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Loved it, man. Loved it. <laughs> like, yeah, well, look, uh, I think this is a go ahead, Venus. We're gonna end it. Let me go. They get up and start roasting. Like, yeah, I got something to say to somebody in the black shirt. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with the teeth, yo? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> And they want to argue back. They can't argue back with the crowd laughing. Yo. Yeah, like, oh. the, the crowd became like a roast session on the guests. For real, it was mm-hmm. it was laughing. Yeah. Oh man, yeah. we're going to end it there, man. Thank you guys so much for this review of 1991. Uh, we love the 90s. Uh, this is good, man. A lot of good stuff came out in 1991. I like to appreciate my man Tony Dons for coming out and uh, doing this live thank with you, us. Tony. As always, man, Hollywood Day Phenom 202, and thank you all being in this chat man and staying on with us please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and we'll be back at you next week with i love the 80s 1982 so thank you guys so much peace we out of here oh shit